and welcome to another episode of Life Talk to My Family. Today, we're talking about how much things have changed. Um, on the show, I have a good friend of mine, Mr. Harry Frampton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Easy, easy, easy. Now. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Harry, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank welcome. you, thank you for having me. Welcome. Um, you, changes, changes. One yeah. thing that you and I see eye to eye on mm. very much is food. Isn't it? Like wow. we've got we've got examples of food here today, guys. Love, love I was gonna food. eat this on camera. I was trying to get this for me, but I think I'm gonna take it home and eat it afterwards on my own. I've sliced one in half so we can share it together. Thank but you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Cheers, you're welcome. Cheers, yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, just like in my day and age, like I remember going to school, having school dinners, mm. and loving a, a cake and custard, and like that's where my love for cake and custard has come from, or certain kind of foods has come from. Yeah. And like we've we've on more than one occasion bonded, bonded. Yeah, it's really hot in the studio today. Bonded like where over food, over food is 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 it's it's erotic. It's 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 fantastic. It's fundamental to life. It's well, that's I think the best relationships are kind of built over over food, isn't it? Over dinner, like the best conversations oh. will, will always be had around a table, like yeah. a dinner table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, man, like food is food is key. Sustenance is key. Sustenance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, man, like going back to the, the school dinners, I miss a turkey twizzlers. If I'm turkey twizzlers? Tur- turkey twizzlers. What are turkey twizzlers? I don't know about turkey twizzlers in school. Just processed meat. <laughs> in, hey, did you remember them? Yeah. Wow. I'm saying my age. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm saying yeah. my age. I'm saying my age. drumsticks. Uh, well, like, like, like Yeah, what? Well, nah, like twizzlers. Like, uh, twizzlers. yeah. These like, were something. Where did you go to school? Uh, out in Essex. Essex. Oh, see, Maybe they didn't. Bush. bush. My, my wife calls it Bush. Yeah, Anything outside yeah. of London is Bush. Yeah, it just sticks, mate. They gave they gave them different food up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah please. Gourmet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tur- turkey Twizzlers. Turkey Twizzlers. So it's like the price with me, but it's like a like a big kind of curl, like long. T- no, nah, um, nah. So I've never had it before. No, nah, wicked. But hey, like, Jamie Oliver oh. ruined that, didn't he? What all the things? See, I remember because of my age. I'm not going to give my age away, but I remember um, primary school. Um, the dinners used to get delivered in vans <laughs> and everything used to be in these little silver like silver containers like they used to yeah. open them up like you'd have like I don't know beef dish and then you'd have this you'd have egg with cheese like just loads of cheese around it you'd have um, just like random stuff I don't know how good quality it was but it was better than the stuff they're giving the kids or they've been giving the kids recently but then it was the desserts I was always interested in it used to come in silver trays about so big and it used to open up and it used to be full of a cake yeah and sponge a, sponges yeah chocolate sponge mint sponge chocolate chip sponge um, what, what we got what we got, we got just sticky vanilla. toffee pudding just vanilla sponge vanilla sponge what about the jam on the top yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah, like jammy vanilla sponge with some hot custard. The caramel tarts. No, see, now you're going to some posh school. No, did you not have caramel tart? <laughs> caramel tart. Did you have caramel tart? Uh, every, Car- every. It's quite caramel tart. Yeah, it was. A, it was like a bit of pastry, caramel sprinkles on it. I want to swear, but it was. I'm not going to. It was so nice. There's a shop in Dawson that sells. That is a couple of cake shops that still sell it. They still sell it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to check it. You have to go and get me some. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> bake, oh, tarts. Yeah, yeah, bake you have the bake tart, but the bake tart would just be the sponge, the, the jam, and the thing. No ice in that. Lovely, oh. lovely. And seconds. I used to go for seconds. I used to. Oh, oh I never got seconds. Do you have you guys? Or you had treacle tart? Yeah, treacle tart. Same kind like, of thing. Like with coconut. Yeah, I think so. I've had treacle tart. I know a bit of treacle tart. My my old man cooks up a mean treacle tart. Yeah. Oh, mate. You're saying that? Um, yeah. his, his, his dad's a chef, you know. Yeah, it was yeah. retired. Was it? Okay, was retired, it? Retired, retired. For Forty years. Okay. Worked up in the city. Okay. Just cooking, man. Cooking some mean food. Uh, what's your favorite dish you made? Uh, roast dinner. Roast, roast dinner. That Sunday roast. Classic roast, yeah. Yeah, man. What meat? I love a joint of beef. A little bit of pink on the inside. A little bit of juice flowing, but even his roast chicken was just wicked. Yeah. Because you know, like you can get some proper mean, like as in like mean, you know, you mean. but just like dry. Chicken. Oh yeah, no horrible. That's like, not. That's you not... cut it and it starts to just ash. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so dry. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <coughs> it's, 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 it's chicken is wicked, man. It's just a ve- so like he he's all about like gardening and stuff like that as well. So like he picks his own veg. Own okay. Fruit. So it's like he'll pick it, wash it, cook it on your plate in like half hour. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's good like food, isn't it? Good healthy food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I moved out. 
<laughs> and started, eating, <laughs> and started eating rubbish. Yeah, then I moved to London and it's yeah. like, oh, Deliveroo and Uber Eats. <laughs> no, do you know what, right? Even saying that, I got delivery on my phone and I'm, I'm, I don't like Deliveroo no more. I don't like Deliveroo, I don't like Uber Eats. But that to me is, even though it's been around for a little while, mm. it's still a new thing for me. I've only just started using it. It's a yeah. new thing. And they, they're just, I want to call it Deliver Poo. <laughs> but I don't, I'm not going to tarnish anyone's company for that. But it's just, I don't see much on there that's healthy. Yeah. And it's just like, it's just giving, it's accessing, giving you access to stuff that's not good for you in your house. You're not even getting the, the, the um, what's the word? The exercise to go and get it or, no, no. it's long, man. Well, it's the epitome of fast food, isn't it? Yeah. It's literally, it's, it's you, by a click of a finger, it's, it could be at your door in 15 minutes. Exactly, yeah. And it's not going to be the, the healthiest food. They do have some really good options on there, don't get me wrong. Mm. Like, you know, and there are other good delivery food companies, you mm. know. Um, no, delivery's good. About, but, but. I mean, nothing beats a home cooked meal. I'm yeah. saying, and like going back to what we were saying before about sitting around the table with people and everything, and having having the solid relationship building and that. Yeah. Sunday dinner. Now you're talking about Sunday roast. I understand, like Sunday dinner for me, it's not just there's Sunday. It goes across the boards of society of societies, nations. You got yeah. the, you got the, the West Indian Sunday dinner. You got yeah. the English Sunday dinner. You got the American. They got they got their dinners on Sundays as well. They make. So I've lived there as well. Um, I'm not too more versed about other, sorry? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat some of your pumpkin pie. <laughs> but yeah. <Pause. laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, but I just feel like um, nowadays, a lot of a lot is lost. A bit going, having the food fast yeah. and doing certain things. A lot of the that processes- That is changed is, as well, isn't it's it? It's lost. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm, that's why mm. I'm raising it. It's just, it's, you had the solidarity of the family thing, Sunday dinner and rice, I know there's a rice and peas cooking, the, the peas are getting stewed down on a Saturday night or like soaked on a Saturday night, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. The, your meat's getting um, uh, seasoned on marinated, a Saturday night. Yeah. Marinated. 24 hours at you, least. You already said your dad's going to the garden, he's picking a vegetable and all that. Yeah. You know that, it's the whole, the whole kind of, um, the whole uh, experience of that is gone. The process, yes, the process of it all. Like, process, thank we've you. Gone, we've gone from processing a meal in terms of going out, buying your food or picking your food and cooking it fresh to purchasing processed foods. Mm. Wow. So you're cutting out the process yeah. by, by having someone else do it for you. Yeah. yeah. So you're completely losing that experience, like you say. And for me, a lover of food, yeah. it's just like, it's almost like you're, it's, you're, you're you're rubbish in it, you're wasting, it's just, there's no, you know the whole cooking it, like for me, okay, Sunday dinner in my house or times when I've been with like the various partners, yeah. I might have gone out a Saturday night, I'm sleeping and I can smell the food cooking yeah. in the house. Mm. There's nothing better than smelling the food cooking in the house. Yeah, yeah. you're, you're a child. Cook, even, yeah, that's man. what I'm saying, when you're a child, yeah, like, um, even a child, just smelling that food on a Sunday. Or yeah, waking up knowing that. Yeah. I, Saturday, I remember. You, just, you know what's been gone, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I remember kind of waking up on even like a Saturday morning and I can smell that burnt toast. But you know, I know that burnt toast is going to taste so good with a bit of jam on it. Mm. My man. <laughs> and I'm like, I go downstairs and I'm like, please like, give me some of that toast. <laughs> Such a basic breakfast, yeah. mm. but it it warms you. Yeah. Like it mm. feels so nice. Yeah. Um, that's gone. That's yeah. Gone. And like, look, unless, why? Uh, this is my, the, my thing is why? Because these are things that I definitely love, you love, yeah. but I think it's the, the same thing with a lot of the stuff we've talked about on previous shows and the lack of things being handed down and the reluctancy of people to want to receive those things that are being handed down. Mm -hmm. You've got the whole computer race and the kids are on the consoles, everyone come downstairs and they're oh, just put it on the table, I'm oh, playing the computer, Do you know? Yeah. You know, people who are so into their work, oh, they're just, you know, like, oh, send me a burger, send me this, spirit. they're eating on the go. Yeah. It's like they're almost not allowing themselves time to, Marinate for one of the best. I feel like that that wasn't there before. I feel like that was still there. All the elements were there before, but people still found time, found time for family. Yeah, but because if you look at it now, the way that the world <laughs> works, it's instant gratification. Yeah. Boom! I need stuff done straight away, and that translates over into your work, into your into your the business you work for. Yeah. Mm. So it's like we've got computers now that can give you. Um, give you answers or give you data within a click of a second. So companies are like, we need that right now. Mm -hmm. And that makes you have to work 10 times harder. harder yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, you having to work 10 times harder, come at the end of the day, you're so exhausted mentally, not even physically, because you could be sat there all day just doing that. <coughs> physically, that's not tiring, but mm -hmm. mentally you're so exhausted. The last thing you want to have to do 
is get up and go prep some food, put yeah. it in the oven, yeah. put it in the frying pan. Or I, can, I think it's more of the access that everyone's got to things now. Yeah, we are. Like, whereas before, I feel like that, that families needed each other in some sort of way. You know, like mm. they, they needed each other in some in some sort of like capacity. Mm. Even if it was the friendship side of the family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the more people have friends and fa- I don't know, just more, do you know what I mean? Like expanded. Because if, if, if you notice, a lot of poor families are still very much together. <coughs> like poor yeah. families are still together. It's like, it sounds crazy. Are they poor though? Or they the, yeah. or they the rich ones, you know what I mean? No, they yeah, they're rich the rich ones in, 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 in that in yeah, perspective, in perspective you know I mean? definitely. But <laughs> it's like people that don't have as much yeah. seem to stick together more than people that feel like they 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 they're okay to yeah. kind of stand by themselves. If you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm, yeah, I agree with you're saying. But I just think it's like the the, 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 the divide and conquer thing with all these industries trying to make us consume, 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 consume. Mm. But then like. Um, just what 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 makes you tick? What makes you happy? What do you want? How how do you how do you want to live? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then experiencing that, some I think a lot of people haven't experienced that. Like you're saying, if they've got the money, they can go and I'll eat that, you eat that, you eat that. Yeah. But if you when you're poorer, we all have to eat the same thing. 100%. We may have to eat that for yeah. like breakfast days. tomorrow. Exactly. Or to, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that is something where we've gone through it. There was a time in my life with my friends that you know very well. Mm-hmm. We would never have no money, mate. Yeah. We was on our nose. It's as simple as that. We exactly. was teenage boys. Live, we didn't want to live at home. Mm. We was all living together. Didn't have no money. So we used to, I've, and I've said it before on a different podcast. I've said it with you in a yeah. different interview. We used to go home and have just rice and stew. Mm. Yeah. But that rice and rascal art stew was the, it was, it was, the, we used to love it. We used yeah. to be around the pot. Equal shares and that. Yeah. It was mad. But yeah. me, Axel Swift, Bassey, yeah. but it, it gave us solidarity. So anything else we wanted done, we was yeah. out. We moved as a unit because we saying. all went through that it's together. Community, isn't yeah. It? Yeah. It's a community of people. The one thing that doesn't help nowadays, I'd say, is technology. Because you have like FaceTime and Skype, yeah. you can be away from your family physically, yeah. but still connected. Yeah. But, you're, but you're, then you're missing that physical, physical touch and emotion. Yeah. Hmm. So... I think that's why a lot of people feel like they can kind of just go out and make it on their own now. Yeah. Because they can just go out and, hey, look, if I need my parents, or if I need my friend, boom, hey, you're out, how you doing? Just to kind of give that quick, instant top up yeah. and then go again. I mean, that, that's created a lot of empty shows. 100%. Yeah. Definitely. A lot of empty shows. Like... It's that trying to be cool. Because if they paint to you what success is as well, then that's how they can control you, like what you see as success. So mm. if you see success as being the guy, let's just paint, you know what I mean? The, the guy. Car, the the car, the this. You know? All of that stuff. Mm. Does that guy really care about going to see his family? Did they put that in the description? Mm. Because you know, like people really like to follow descriptions of quote unquote success, and maybe more of us are reaching to that success point, but then like getting further and further away from real success. Yeah, yeah. what you what you sacrificing to yeah. get that success? Yeah, understand what I'm saying? There's no equilibrium. There's no it's a bit of success with a bit of family. Exactly. I'm going to get all the fa- all the success, but I'm going to sacrifice my family for that. You know, mm. and at the end of the day. If that, if that success goes, because success can be given and taken away like that. Just like that. Family is forever. Uh, but even, unless you even cut what, it off. What, no, it's still, it's still there. It's just, it's just cut off. No, but, but the perspective of success can change. Mm. But, like, family can't. Yeah, it's you true. You can't change your perspective on who your dad or your mum is. That's true. But you can change your perspective of what is successful. To you, right. yeah. Well, yeah. Like, you got to think, when you succeed in one thing, the, goal, the goalposts move, or they should move. Yeah, always, mm. yeah, should move. Yeah, um, you don't want to come too too comfortable because then that's when you can be at your, your most vulnerable. Complacent, yeah. So the goal the goalposts should move. Mm-hmm. So then you'll keep striving, 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 but yeah. as you're striving going up, you're distancing yourself more from, from that community exactly. that you have. It's mad. <sighs> you still not <laughs> just giving, making my brain go in so many different directions. But then, <laughs> then, there, then there should be the, the, which is the perspective of success or the perspective of things. Sh- the what, what I was talking about, how we eat, should be applied in an ideal world. If that's applied, you're good. Because mm. on my way up, if I'm going up, I'm taking you with me, yeah. or I'm open, or le- even leaving the back door open, yeah. and you come through the door, it's good. Because then I've got people around me that I know have got my best interests at heart. Their family, yeah. we done it together. We can, we, we'll eat that rice together. No, we eat the caviar together. Cause we used to eat rice together. Remember I said that, boys, we're going to eat caviar and lobster, all them things. We would eat it, but together, because we had that rice together. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That like when the money starts coming. Oh. Yeah, but... But that's what, it, that's what makes sense. I think like, it's, a, it's almost like a process, isn't it? Mm. Like a process of, uh, of just evolution. Mm. You're supposed to kind of, with the people or whatever, you know, cause and effect. The people that did this should go this way Love together, it. but that doesn't happen usually. Not everyone evolves, bro. 
That's what I'm saying. The so people that are like dinosaurs, they just they just exactly. die. Or so you know, like and it's just going back to like. But I feel like everyone's perspective of success changes as well, because maybe like say for instance, we all started uh, business, and then one of us started had a, um, a baby, then it's like and then says, you know what, guys, priorities. Be, yeah, priorities, priorities change. Mm. Then like, he just wants to have the family. He wants to do the family thing. So he's he's like, no, I, he actually doesn't really care. He just wants to do the family thing. Mm. You know what I mean? And if someone else says, you know what, I've found a new interest mm. in something else I'm interested in and mm. I want to do that. Like, there's, there's not much that you can say because but it's like it, people growing at the same time. Mm. Unless it's actually... F- um, because some people will step away from it even if there's money involved. Do you mm. know what I mean? Because they, they want to choose a different side in life. But if, if people's success was joint, like if you had a, when you have joint aims... Like community success is Common better. Goals, yeah. yeah, community success creates family as well. Definitely. But if it's just your success on your own, you trying to show off to everyone and be the guy, be the main guy. Yeah. yeah. Of, yeah. I know, which a lot of people think that is the way to do it these days. It's just and that's what I think. Even women and men, I think everyone just wants to be the main person all the time. Yeah. That that need for being the main <coughs> person. You know what I mean? Because maybe when we did have the family unit, the family kind of looked towards people with, in terms of people were favoured. Yes, you know, you know what I would say as well. It's not that there ain't no family units no more. Mm. There's loads of family units. There's loads of people that have these old school values yeah. and implement them within their family. The only thing is they're not being like um, what's the, you know like you look highlighted. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. not seeing it. You're not hearing about it. It's not the main it, thing. it. Yeah, but you can see it within the people that are living in their lives. Me being a people person with, through their character and how they behave, how they interact with people. Mm. On a daily basis, you can tell people who come from like a nice family or that they've got solidarity, they're calm within themselves, they're comfortable. And those who've just got that paper kind of success and then all that they're about is this is the earbuds, the, the watch, yeah, the, the yeah. car, the this, the, the trainers and how they look on a constant basis. It's yeah. a lot, man. It's a lot. I don't think you, you, you get one type of person though. You know what I mean? Like, I think got, you, you could have like, say for instance, five siblings from the same family and mm. they will all be different. Oh, of course. So one of them might look like they come from <laughs> that kind of family, and one of them look like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking about how you look. Yeah, I'm talking about your values. So I'm saying how you carry yourself. Yeah. So if I know, okay, if I've been brought up to sit around the table and eat dinner with with X Y Z, my family, we we eat like that. Yeah. If you go out, when you go sit down to eat, you'll see that in their manners when they sit around the table to you, okay, opposed yeah, to someone true. who just yeah. eats in their bedroom and watching it eat, eat with their hands like that. Yeah. You see manner. Are you? Are you yeah. I can't read body language. So you yeah. see mannerisms like people are just different. Yeah. And if people, you, you. I've got a lot of respect. You come from a good family. Yeah. So your traits come out. They're just natural to no, you. No, of course. But my, say, for instance, my kids might, like, as much as we, th- these days, we might want to have our kids sit eat at a table. But say, for instance, mm. just the way society is, they mm. might want to go to their room yeah. and eat their food. And that doesn't mean that uh, I didn't teach them the same things. Yeah. It just means that they, they're, what, how they want to do things is different and you yeah. can't force people. Oh, you know absolutely. I mean? well, but then my thing is, they, they would still, when they come out, there's an air of, um, is the people who don't know something, they don't know something. Yeah. People who don't want to do it or they just, That's they, another they, story, it's yeah. another story. Another so they will still have the respect, they'll still have certain things exuberating from them yeah. opposed to people who just don't know how to behave like that. Very mm. true. So they can choose to behave the way you want to behave when they're out yeah. to, to yeah. represent the family. At least you give when they're home, like, yeah. that's my room, dad, which is yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the others don't know shit. Yeah. Like, up, up until like, I was probably 15, 16. I I've got to, you've got I, to tell I, a drunk story soon as well, sorry. Because yeah. you said your age. Oh, mate. Go on, sorry. 15, to cut you. <laughs> I, was, I was sat at a table every dinner. Elbows off the table. Even that. So, really? like, I'd, <laughs> I'd sneak my forearms on just to make a point. So, I kind of win. I would lose, but I win. So, I mean, forearms on. I thought I was 15, 16. It's and good. Like, but even after that, like, just out of respect... I'd be like, all right, cool, I'll do it because it's the right thing to do. Uh, yeah. I still have the choice. Uh, I, well, sometimes I, I might want to kind of just sit and chill with my the old lap chair and I kind of eat watching TV, whatever. But it'd be, nine times out of ten, it'd be sat at the table uh, fully. Um, so yeah, and I think that kind of eat with your mouth closed. Yeah, don't talk your mouth full. Don't talk your mouth full. Like my nan. Um, <laughs> Go she, so she's alive. Nah, past, like years, ago, years ago, years ago. Rest in peace. Um, she like she used to say, if you eat, if you talk your mouth or if you burp, all pigs outside. What's that? All, all pigs, all pigs outside. All pigs outside. Like jokingly, but it's basically like a little dig to be like, sort yourself out. Yeah. You know, you're not an animal. Yeah. Like, all pigs outside. Have, have, have like some respect. That. Yeah. yeah. I was like, all right, cool. And what was her name? Betty. 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 My name Bet. Nanny yeah, Betty. Wicked, wicked, oh, wicked, wicked. What was? What was? 
your favourite thing that it, it, Nanny Betty Major? Um, she made a wicked steak and kidney pie. Yeah. So my dad. It's old school as well, though, isn't it? Yeah. So my dad still uses that recipe. So him being a chef himself, yeah. the fact he uses that is a testament to show how good the, the quality was. Like, that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the pastry, like. And, and just the meat and the Short gravy. Crust, yeah. Yeah. You Which, mentioned your dad cooking. I didn't know he was a chef. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've yeah. had some serious conversations about yeah. food, mate. He's like, oh. and like, he's retired now, so like he'll wow. be at home, kind of experimenting. He'll like bake like brownies and flapjack and nice, just random, just like I'll do something in the kitchen. Yeah, like I'll go there. So they're back in Essex. So, like I'll go there kind of a few times a month when I can, and I'll come through the back door and there'll just be this tray, just a brownie and this tray of flapjack. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Come on, right. carve a few squares. <laughs> Before I even say hi, kind of yeah, thing. Like, yeah, of course, as you do. Lunching. It's you just do. wicked, man. Like, yeah. just, just home. It's just home. Where yeah. that Essex did you go? Basildon. Basildon, okay. <laughs> Basildon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basildon. Yeah. If, you know, if you've been down the A127. Who's from Basildon? Is it Basildon yeah. Feather? That was, sorry, let me just not get confused. I have go no on. idea. Go yeah, on, go don't, on. don't test me on it, I have no idea. Go on. You see the old Basildon sign, then she come in, then she come yeah. down. I had a birth from Basildon years ago, but yeah. Um, I can imagine, many people have. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so just, yeah, man, just the quality of food. It's yeah. just wicked, oh. man. It was so nice. Right, go on. we're going to go back into food, but I want to talk about alcohol now, because you told me a story about <laughs> <laughs> Told me a story a little while ago. Like, so good. yeah, your first your we, we were drinking today. We just mildly drink responsibly. You've heard me say it before. But your first encounters of alcohol in your dad's house. Uh, well, this wasn't my first encounter, but like I've oh, had, sorry, I've had encounters. So I, you know, I, I, used to, I used to be sunk the cheeky beer when, like when I was younger. Seriously? Yeah, like but it's like how old? 11, 12, 12, 13 But wow. it was like, but it was like French. Tesco's own beer, yeah, 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 like the green bottle beers. <laughs> you think you're really genuine? Like, I, was, I thought I was a proper geezer, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, bowling in about my garden, like in a family barbecue. Yeah. I wasn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, kind of just went out one night, come home, and I kind of raided their their um, alcohol cupboard. and As you do. I just went nuts. You said it was locked, no? Huh? Was it locked? No, no, it's, it's, not, open. it's not. It's just there, but like, I never touched it. But then I kind of had a taste. I was, I was 15, 16 at the time. And um, yeah, come home and just like cracking on gin, rum, vodka, Everything. champagne. So I've never mixed. So to me, I'm just like, oh, cool. This, this is different. Wicked. Yeah. Oh, I feel a bit of a buzz. And then my mum made slow gin. So you get like the slow berries and you can kind of like... Um, ferment them and kind of yeah. make your own gin so I started wow. knocking that back my dad collected wine and champagne over the years from like chef in and stuff like that so I cracked a few of those open fuck me excuse my French audience how much did you drink how much bottle did you do you remember <laughs> no no I don't, I don't remember like but it, it got bad so like I started taking my clothes off and running <laughs> round like starkers I'm outside I'm running up and down you're running outside uh, your house out, up and down the street putting bottles up in Basildon Wait, is that the same place we live now or was it somewhere else no I live in, I live in London now oh yeah. my parents house still but um yeah putting bottles on top of neighbours cars oh. <laughs> and naked uh, <laughs> Sorry, mum. <mom. laughs> she really knows about it. She, she does. She's yeah, forgiven so, you. She's forgiven so, I, I remember flashbacks of that, and then it, I was just like vomiting in the toilet. Oh. And then I hear my mum coming downstairs, and I'm just there, starkers on the bathroom floor. Seriously. Vomiting in, in, vomiting in front of my parents. Yeah. Naked. So, yes. Yeah. 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 Naked. You don't know what what position, what the alcohol position to get naked, didn't it? Oh, I just I felt like getting hot, I assume. <laughs> you do. <laughs> just probably like this, probably yeah. slow gin, innit? De de robing, yeah, yeah. No, that was that was a that was an interesting night in a few days. Oh, but yeah, I've, I've yeah, I've had, I've had a few a few kind of messy ones kind of growing up. But you do, you do like as you kind do of get that seventeen, yeah. eighteen. Do you uh, not think that's changed how we used to drink to how the kids drink <sighs> these days? They're so young. Yeah. But like, so we were talking about festivals and that not long ago. Yeah. yeah. You go to a festival now, you've got like. 14, 15 year olds it's true. who are there kind of knocking back like oh, no, bottle, bottles of rosé yeah because it's cheap but it's, it's high in percentage yeah and you can clearly see that they're not 18 and so they're just true. getting smashed wasted yeah so wasted true. and you think wow what are you doing but did <coughs> isn't that a bit rude because when you were 14, 15 you just, I did it once okay 
So they didn't put, okay. I learned okay. my lesson. Okay. Very quickly. Okay. Very, and like, okay, I might have like the other one, one or two like from mm, the yeah. dog. But it's, kind of, it's cool, it's cool. It's, it's the access is different these access days. Access is so different, man. And but, yeah. What we've got to do is different as well, though, I think, today, in this day and age. There's less, there's le- as much as, when I was young, I used to go out, run out, knock down ginger, ride your bikes. Yeah. You just do, no, it's, 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 oh, no, I, I was the ginger, that's, that's what I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, I've been running from people because not that I'm ginger. I'm dead, I'm dead. And as, soon as, hear, as soon as I hear that, I'm gone. I'm no, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You kill me, H. H. I'm officially, listen, I love ginger people. What I used to, I used to knock on doors. Yeah. Not, I never it's know. a different <laughs> memory of that, that, you gotta, that you gotta game. Like explain that. Yeah. Clearly. So clearly. I had a completely different experience. <laughs> so not that ginger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, we had other stuff to do. So I think getting drunk, wasn't even though we, we I know people who drunk and getting drunk wasn't a thing. It was, my thing was more like staying out late. Yeah, yeah. Might have a, like, have a cigarette. Like I spoke about the guy in the other night. Smoke his his first cigarette. He smoked. Do you smoke? No, no. I have. I have. Okay. You try it. That, that kind of stuff. Like, but I think with um, less of the family unit, less of other things to do, less of um, less things like everything coming so quick. Yeah, Yeah. People just want to, want to kind of detach themselves from reality, even the children. It's true, but I think like, there's the pressures of social media nowadays. You know, like you want to be out with your friends and showing you're having a good time. Yeah. Mm. What's having a good time? Getting drunk. Like having a buzz, having like mm. a bottle or something in your hand. Yeah. Mm. Like it is. Like, back, it's been, back, it's back been in our things. day, yeah, it was God. the whole this and that, like posing in pictures yeah. with your hands. Now it's you're holding a bottle or something. Yeah. And that's, that means you're cool. Actually, how old are you going? Old enough to know better. <laughs> oh man, you got all, you got it all. But you're, you're, you said, when you say back in my day, it's like it's um, for me, it's like in my day they weren't. We never really had. We never took that much pictures, you know. Like no. we had, we'd, we, you'd be lucky to see if to, you'd be lucky if someone in your area of North London had a Polaroid camera. Like if someone oh, in that entire area, you know, like I'm talking about pictures. Yeah. We never, there weren't that much pictures. No, but like um, his point is still the same. It's like yeah, no, I agree. With it's, the, it's how the poses were. The poses were more like you know, like your hands. Yeah. yeah. Now, like you're saying, you have to have a, it's almost like you're doing your you have to be advertising every single time. Yeah, trust me, it's like sponsored by Absolute. Yeah. Sponsored by Smirnoff. <laughs> sponsored by, sponsored by, by Yeah. Corona. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not the disease that's been. Um. You know, like it's 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 a mad one, like. So back, I say back, so I'm 30, right? I'm Thank 30, you, got I'm it. Bang! So back in my day, it was the um, Ericsson flip phone or Samsung yeah. flip phone or the yeah. slide phone yeah. 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 where it's got like a 2.3 megapixel camera <laughs> yeah. where you can just about make out someone's face but yeah. you know it's them. Yeah. Nowadays, it's so pixelated, you can zoom in. You've got three cameras in the back of your phone? Yeah, two. Oh. Two, but, oh. but yeah. it is a point where now you get three and you can get... The, the most the clearest pictures ever so you can <coughs> you can see everyone's flaws in a yeah, picture yeah, yeah. so until they've got to put filters on the stuff on it filters in, makeup in, in. makeup's a mad one that you got people like girls doing their makeup at 14, 15 so 13 true. looking yeah. at, trying to look as if they're 18 because they have to yeah. hide all their flaws so yeah true. but they don't have to hide their flaws this is, this is that's what's changed a lot as well it's, it's, like, it's that pressure pressure yeah. because there's so much access on social media of what is perfect What's perfect? What what what's the perfect look nowadays? It's a perfect <laughs> social media look. Do you know what and I mean? That's what people need to understand, yeah. it. and that's to, so far from reality of what people actually like or don't like. Hundred percent. But the, the my thing is like the the the, the statement "beauty is in the eye of the beholder." Mm. That has to be. People have to understand that. And but that like, needs to be if, fed into people. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but there's so much that's just like it's that's almost like the lost tapes. Or the, or the Maccabee Bible, they've hidden yeah. so much from people. It's right there, but they've hidden so much from but, people and just give them the rubbish. Go yeah, because so, people want to be fit in and people want to be accepted. That yeah. that part of people makes makes people lie about what they even like. Trust. Mm. So I they, tried to fit in when yeah. I was at school. I was yeah. tall, lanky, ginger, glasses, spots, braces. I was like... Tall, lanky, ginger. Oh, you can come along, ain't you? Look right now, don't you, sir? I don't... Yeah, I scrub up not bad. <laughs> <laughs> from where I come from. But yeah. like for me to try to fit in, it was like... I don't know, to get like a tracksuit and yeah, to get like the, yeah. the Lacoste or the Reebok workouts yeah, just yeah, to kind of yeah. fit in a little bit. Mm. Yeah, it's true. But I just, try, just used to try and get in. Huh? I just used to try and try get, get in. in. Yeah. I didn't get in. I tried. Yeah. I always got in. I always got in one way or another. 
Uh, I was I was the knockdown ginger, so yeah. I, I tried to get in, and somebody was shouting, I got to go. <laughs> that's sad. That's why I so, yeah. I, so like oh, I had to do athletics, oh. so I used to be a, a sprinter. Yeah, I only developed <coughs> into a sprinter, so I used to run away. <laughs> for fuck, seriously, for real, yeah, Serious. yeah. I was quite fast like in primary school, but yeah. I developed it in senior school. So I got so what bad? Was it, was it was it really bad? Not bad, but like people but, just used to. Can't. Yeah, she's a bully me. Do you know? And I, I, I think there's something that's probably never not spoken about because like people talk about racism and that you know what I'm saying on the, on the basis they talk about it, mm. but they don't talk about the racism and discrimination that ginger people go through. Yeah, Hairism. Like, yeah, but it's like, and exactly. So it's not even a color. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing. You're crying. No, I'm no because I think I've seen it. Someone done a skit. Like a tank? comedy thing and it goes oh Maybe. it's this 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 but if you were born ginger you have to go through this you know like send send two pounds for just someone who's yeah, ginger yeah, yeah. but it was like a, it was but it was it's a parody comedy, kind of thing yeah, comedy, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. it's like they but don't pay enough though. attention like we were saying yeah. like there is a, it's a lot but it's mad know? so like I've got two sisters and they're both ginger so three of us are all ginger yeah. and that was such a rarity and your parents are, 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 what's the mix there? they've got black hair yeah. So it's my nan, my dad's mum, Betty. She had, Betty, oh, nan, 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 Betty. Nan, Betty. She had ginger hair. Okay. She had strong jeans. Yeah, so it kind of it skipped, Excuse me. skipped Skip. all them. Yeah. And then my mum's side didn't have them, and then yeah, we we come through ginger. Yeah. So. That's what you say, ginger. Ginger. There's so, a lot of black ginger people as well. Yeah. That's what's funny that it doesn't get highlighted. Uh, huh? Exactly. No Where's Brown? Where's Brown? So probably one of the most famous ones. Yeah. Who? Ex- Where's Brown? Ex Man United. Defender. I don't know. I don't do football, so I don't know him. There's, there's Asian ones as well, right? I'm not sure I've seen too many Asian, but I know, I've seen, I know a lot of black guys that have the ginger beards. Yeah. yeah. But because of their skin colour, people don't look at it as ginger. You like can't ginger. see it. Yeah. It's like they've dyed it as well, though. Yeah, that's, that's a one. No, but some of them haven't dyed it. I no, but some no, some it looks like they've dyed it. I know some oh. mixed race people as well. I yeah, know yeah, mixed yeah. Race people and the, it's majority of mixed race people that I know that have the ginger beard and hair. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's yeah. Uh, my kids. My kids are gonna possibly have a a little bit of jeans, but they're kind of gonna be mixed. Yeah, but yeah, gold mixed. Going into that, they're yeah. gonna be mixed with Trini, so black Caribbean, or Trini, African Caribbean, Trinidadian, yeah. Mm. So nice. Trin, Trinbagonian. Let what? Me get, let me get it right for the. <laughs> you better make sure yeah. you get it right. Say it again. So Trinbagonian, so it's like Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago yeah. So it's that kind of the they're all all one. But it's not actually so, 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 Trinidad. So Trinidad and Tobago. Even that, right? Um, I want to talk to you about the mixed relationships in a minute. But even uh, that, the changes of what we call places. things and places and the way, you know, like overlap. I think the one I might that pops down is Rhodesia. And for some reason, I've heard that Rhodesia was changed. I don't know what I don't know where, I don't know where Rhodesia is. I don't yeah. know what it's called before. I don't know what it's, but I know that it was changed, and like the people that lived there didn't like the fact that it was changed, something like that. Right. But that. Trini. Trinbagonian. 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 Is that, that what, that's what someone who comes from there is called? Or is that what it's called? As a whole, as a whole, yeah. So like you'll have like Trinis, Trinidadian, and mm. you'll have people who live in Tobago, which yeah. are Tobagonian. But now as a whole... It's as a under, mouthful, mate. Well, it's Trinbagonian, yeah. Mm. And but Trini, Trini. Trini. How important do you think that is? In what sense? In the sense of identification. Like identifying like that... that to how important is it to you? To you, how important do you think it is to the people that have changed it? Like, like no, yeah. I want to be called a Trin. Say it, cause I can't say Trin, it. Trinbagonian. I want to be. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a Trini. I'm not a. But, to, uh, just say it one time. Yeah, I'm a Trinbag. I'm a Trinbagonian. There you go. Like, yeah. but you are. You're still. You're still. You're still. Who you are. But, but whether, whether you're Trini or whether you're Trinbagonian, you're, <coughs> you're, still, you're still the same. Yeah. It's just preference. Mm. That's what it is. It's, it's no. Well, in my in my opinion, it's just preference. Yeah. Mm. A Trinbagonian who's somebody who lives in Tobago, not in Trinidad, might have mm. a different view on it completely. Exactly. Mm. So, relationships. Uh, Ginger guy. Yeah. You got a Trinbagonian wife. I do. I do. How, how did that How did that come about? She was my boss. She was your boss. Yeah, and she ain't she ain't like me for saying that. <laughs> but she loved you anyway. She was. She's your wife. She was, so. she <laughs> was or she still is. <laughs> <laughs> my man my I'm, man you know. I plead the fifth <laughs> um, <coughs> of course she still is that's fine <coughs> excuse, excuse me she still is they always are yeah, yeah. man and, mm. and you know what I'm cool with that you're happy yeah, 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 well, well, I'm, I'm so calm with that good but no she was my boss so um, 
I used to work in education. She was a teacher and assistant principal of a school. I went in as like a support. What aspect of education? Uh, primary. Okay. Primary. Okay. So kind of had a year three, had a maths, okay. then went to assistant principal of the school. You I, did, was, I did not know this. Yeah, she's, man, she's a crazy woman. She's wicked, wicked, honestly. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, I didn't uh, know you was a teacher, I mean. Huh? I didn't know you was a teacher. Yeah, I know. Wow. I know, I'm not anymore. That says a lot. Um, but no, so I went in and kind of support special needs, worked in a class, kind of just built a friendship and it kind of went from there really. Mm-hmm. And then um, just grew from there. I wasn't looking for a relationship. She wasn't really looking for a relationship. Mm-hmm. Kind of just grew so naturally and organically. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. And just really just become really good friends and kind of just okay. decided, you know what, let's, let's, let's go with it and see see where it goes from here. Do you know, yeah. the, do you know the statistic on that? No. Or do you on the amount of relationships that are, are growing in the workplace? There is a, there is a statistic, isn't there? Yeah, maybe it must be. There is, no, there is. There's, there's like, it's, it's a high as well. Well, it was, it was very much frowned upon. I'll tell you that much. Wow. So we but, we kept it a secret for seven months being together. Is it in the same place you are now? No, no, no. Why no. why was it frowned upon? I think because where you're working with like young children, uh, if anything were to happen kind of in your relationship, it wouldn't they wouldn't want it to affect the children's kind of schooling experience mm. or environment mm. which I understand fine mm. um, but they were just so so strict on it to the point where you could be completely split in terms of where you are in a school yeah. or possibly like managed out Mm-mm. so we just kept it fully quiet um, for the seven months when people found out they were elated like it was wicked but then I was in the process of moving from primary over to the secondary school anyway <coughs> so it was fine like, it was fine <coughs> coming up. excuse me um, and then yeah kind of just grew from there we mm. both left education moved up to London and kind of gone from there got engaged got married at, got married in Tobago T- Tobagonian no I said Trini Tobagonian not quite Trin Bagonian Trin B Trin Bagonian that's it that's not bad yeah, Trin yeah. Bagonian yeah. Yeah. yeah but we got Coffee. married in Tobago which is just <laughs> wicked seriously like yeah. on a beach on a beach married on the beach and then had the um the reception in like a pavilion on the beach as well. No. It just, mm. yeah, amazing man. We're kind of seven years strong. Seven years, you've been married, yeah? No, no, three years married, seven years together this year. Nice, congratulations. Thank you. Thank so you. How was, having a, what would we call this? How would we describe your relationship? Like, because you've been white and I've been black. How would you, how's that, how would you describe it? Interracial. That? Interracial, having an interracial relationship. Yeah. Have you find, have, um, what, what has been the biggest pitfall? Or not pitfall, what's been the biggest kind of like, obstacle in your eyes um i think having people so close to me on my side um possibly having some kind of an online issue underlying issue yeah with with the fact that we're together hmm. um because she's black because she's black but it's never been said outright do you understand hmm. Hmm. and it's 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 ever been said directly, so you, you can't. You, it's kind of blind, hot, and cold. You actually don't know whether or not it's. It's really that. It's really that, right? Yeah. And you've never, you've never ever just like been like, look, like whoever the person is, like or people are, like, look, I this is I don't know this is going on or not going on, but it's kind of hot and cold. I just I just want some clarity because you just do you have a problem? Well, that's that's it's it's a tough one, right? Because like yeah. you don't want it to be you don't want to be so blunt and out there that it completely disrupts a whole family um, yeah equilibrium equilibrium right so but you don't want to be walking on eggshells either you well that, be, and, that, and that's the thing I think, I, mean? I think it's, it's it's kind of getting really much into that kind of that, that, that point now because for me as well yeah. saying that when this is how I see what well, I've, I've been taught things how you see things you, 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 you're born you grow up you have your family your brothers and sisters your mum whatever but then when you go off and get married you start your own family that's your yeah. partner so that's that's your family now but well, that's the thing like if even I mean, you've got your other family that, but that's your family like, that's that's where your loyalty lies you yeah. know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah. primarily not that you don't you dispatch from the other family that's where it lies so anything that disrupts that has to be addressed in even in a nice way but it has to be addressed 100% like anything if there's an issue on that side like with, with, with her it's an issue with me yeah good like, Hundred percent, like Good. I'll back her hundred percent all, all the way, like over anything. Mm. Um, but I think over the seven years, um, my eyes are opening up more and more, and He's... seeing more and more of just, just like just everyday racism. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's mad. Yeah, yeah. like as a, as a white guy, yeah, I'm yeah. walking around. I, I, I'm blind to everything. 
Yeah. You're not blind. You'll be. You, you, but but uh, what, what I am. Oblivious. Because, okay. Oblivious. Yeah. Because uh, to me, I'm just carrying my life. Yeah. Yeah, you've yeah. yeah, 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 never had to experience it. You see things through my eyes, mate. Yeah, I'll tell you yeah. what, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I can, you, know I can what, you do have your own side of it because I'm sure even is she your first black girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. So like the just just the, even the explaining of that <coughs> and the, some of your family probably having that you know that like a certain way of judgment. Yeah, yeah. That's like the they 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 still are, I feel like there's always uncomfortable stuff, things on both sides. Yeah, I think people just. Uh, a little bit uneducated. Yeah. That's what and to. some people are a little bit ignorant to not want to know anyway. Yeah. And that's where the issues can lie. Hum- humans. Just, yeah. Um, I mean, I, there were some people who I no longer speak to who when they found out we were together were just like, like you could tell by their reaction they were a bit like, oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, okay, well the fact that you responded like that, yeah, yeah. I don't need that energy, I don't need Good, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. peace. peace. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, Baked potato, see you later. See you later. Yeah, sweet. You know, so. And then when you're walking down the street, if, uh, you must get some things from black guys as well. You know that little. <laughs> black guys, hey, you know what's girls. crazy, you know what's crazy? A it's... few times I'm walking down the road <laughs> and a black guy looking at me, I look at him and he just go, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Is that like a kind of nod of acceptance? Yeah, kind of yeah. Thing? seriously, like, yeah. Like, all right, cool. Like, okay, that's good. But I to like me, that. but to me, like, she's a woman. That's it. She's yeah. beautiful. Like, I don't care what color your skin is. Like, you are good. amazing. Yes, beautiful. But you see, the thing is, yeah, because we can. I'm glad we talk about how things change. Back in the day, it would be so hard to like. It's, it'd be a lot harder. Even me, I might have been guilty of having stereotypical. Like um, just reactions, thoughts, and just, just to seeing that oh, yeah. judgments, nothing to do with me. Absolutely nothing. You don't have to, What's my business? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Whether I'm black, blue, or whatever. Yeah. But still, sometimes, like I might be like, oh, because I think she's, she's nice, or whatever. Or how come he's got her? But saying that, I do the same thing if the girl's buff and the guy they're the same color, anyways. But still, with us being humans, mm. we can't help how we've been brought up and what we see visually, how we react. But with, I think that's history. Yeah. That that's how things that, have changed. That's the history, like this is what I'm saying, yeah. Through segregation and slavery, anyway, right? So like, it's gone. In it's probably like in African culture as well as like Caribbean culture. It's like if you're with a white guy, you're hit. You're with him because he's got money. You know, that, he, that's the yeah. He's, he's the got money. Like, if, you, if, you guy, if you get with English guy, if you get with English man, that want that that purposely want the different complexion, the complexion change in the. Oh, that's now. That's, like, that's, that's, that's like casting. That's been. casting. Though. That's a caste system yeah, type it's thing. It's always been for a long time, but it's just it's not spoken about like that. Yeah. So uh, money's one, but the just complexion for different the, the different status based on their complexion. Yeah, I've heard conversations like online on social media where it's like. Um, Guys are saying about how, oh, or, and girls like, I can't wait to have mixed race kids. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, or the black and these or the Chinese, no, just yeah. on both sides. Like, that's, that's, that's a conversation it's, that happens on both sides. It's like, all right, cool, like, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. But that's, you're not in a relationship because of that. Mm. Yeah. Like, there must be more levels to that. But I feel like that ignorance, that ig- the same place that the racism lives is the same place where just stupid ideals live. Yeah. Like, so, like, it's so hard to have an intelligent conversation <coughs> with, with, with someone that's just not there. Do you know what I'm saying? But, what but do you want from Nail them? on the head, but, definitely. Yeah. But again, that comes down to the accessibility on your phones now or the, the scrolling. What like, ra- rather, than, rather than having intelligent conversations with people face to face for like five minutes, mm. you'd spend five minutes scrolling, looking at absolute nonsense on your phone. No, that's true. And that's become such a norm. Like, I'm guilty of it. Yeah. We all are. I, but, I happily scroll for like half hour on TikTok but, or Instagram. But, but forget like, that. We, like, I'm, we uh, can't, sorry, go on, yeah, yeah. I, I remember, this is just my experience in life. Yeah. Now, when I was young, man, you always, always want to mix race girls. Oh, they're Chris, Chris. It wasn't yeah, like yeah, white yeah, girls, yeah. Bit, oh, they're Chris, they're hair, this. So it was, it was, uh, it was a bad to be worn. It was a thing. Yeah. The, the, light, the light skin guy, the mixed race guy, he was yeah. always thinking of girls. This was, it was, a, like it was taboo. It wasn't re- wasn't a reality. No, it was just put up in certain people's heads. Yeah, but that's what we believed to think. So when you got a mixed race girl, you was like, yeah, you're the much nuts. Do you know what I mean? That was from kind of from my away era. Away from the history that they, we've been, we've been told, yeah, mm. in terms of how we've met each other, um, our our me our mixing in terms of living in each other's countries, yeah, is like sixty years deep. Um, we're not that 
that not that far. Not that far. So yeah. I know that people like to have this different conversation. I just said, from what I know, we're like sixty years deep, even even into integrating into each other's countries and living in each other's countries. Sixty yeah. years, not that deep, you know, not even a hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Sixty yeah. years. It's like yeah. People, people who are like your grandmothers <laughs> or your grandparents. Yeah. Are still alive. Yeah. Went through that. Went through that process, and yeah. they can clearly tell you stories as if it were yesterday. Yeah. Exactly. No, I, I can tell you stories because yeah. I went being being um, a black man in London. Like, and looking at things now, there, there is definitely an undertone of racism that you see, that all the stuff that come out of the football and all the stuff you see, there's people yeah, out there. Well, just this, just this racism, week, wouldn't it? Racism is that like media driven. Because like I say to you, for me, it, that whole ideal of what racism is here yeah, is, is fed to you. But my point is that interracial relationships yeah. are less frowned upon on a greater scale in my perception these from, days. from these days, yeah. from, from my yeah, day yeah, when yeah, I was young yeah, to yeah, these days oh, now, 100%. between like, Whatever colours you want, black, Chinese, white, yeah, this, this, yeah, this, this, yeah, yeah. and the parents. Are, but especially in England and London, yeah. it's, it's, there's a it's, lot more being allowed. People are a lot more yeah. open. open to you it. see different oh. people walking around holding hands, different mixes, and which is a good thing. Definitely. I think in I my think. day you couldn't like certain girls. Like you, I couldn't talk to an Asian girl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up to this day, I, I don't think I've ever been out of a Chinese girl mm. or a Japanese girl. Not that it doesn't happen or something, but within my times, it just wouldn't. It's just not, it's not, it's yeah. unheard of. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, well, now you can, you can go out and see it. Definitely. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I feel, in my opinion, that there's a lot more black guys with white girls than there are white black. guys with black girls. So like, for my in, my, in my, in my instance, Okay. I see a lot more black guys with white girls than <laughs> I would see a white guy with a black girl. I, I think it's, I think in my, in respect to what you're saying, that's just from, from what I'm saying. In, in respect to what you're saying, go ahead, you talk. Sorry, no, I'd say that's changed for me in the last so I was 10 say. years. Fair. Yeah, and, and depending on your area that you live as well, because okay. I, 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 I was living in Upper Street for a little while. Okay. And that, that, that statement there is only, only place I could say, living in Upper Street, where I could say it was the total opposite. Wow, well, okay, fair. Do you got to say? Yeah, yeah, so, but, do you think, yeah, yeah, over the years, because I think it was like what Harry said it was, like back in my day before, yeah. but over the years, as time's gone on, people's eyes have, have opened up, the yeah. stereotypes, have, stereotypes have melted down, yeah. and they've, they've been open to trying. Well, it's a mixing, mix, mixing of you cultures. Think, but there's less, there'd, be cultures. Less stig, there'd be less stig, stig, stigma of about a black woman walking down the street with a white man. Mm. You know what, like I say, to that's, where, what, where, that's how I it, feel. It's like, where, where, are the, where are the students as well? Yeah. Mm. Because students have that, they mix in terms of, let's just, let's just go away from the black and white thing now and just say that the all <coughs> different cultures. Because they, they are all different. Like, we're, we're, and there's one race, it's human race, but yeah, you know, yeah. different co colours and creeds or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And when you see, within a lot of student uh, socialising, you'll see a lot of the mixing with of cultures that you would mm. never see anywhere else. Mm. True, it's and true. And it, it's, it's crazy because they're, they, we, we could argue that they're intelligent, isn't it? Not just they, just because they're students, but you know, their their level of their university students and yeah. mm. their level of intelligence is at a mm. place where their ignorance, what we were talking about, won't be as active mm. because they're very intelligent. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. Have, and then also they're out of the family environment as well. A lot yeah. Of them. So they're in that environment. So they, they, you, you're just you're learning. This is your mm, own. Exactly. It's like a duck. Go, go exactly, and learn that. Exactly. So you can actually learn rather than your dad telling you because a lot of people yeah. just feel it's down for families. Oh, yeah, yeah, black, yeah. Man, like, white, white, white. You can learn for yourself. Oh, this black person's nice. This white person's nice. That's why I said it's a concept. It's different. You can actually learn. It's, it's, it's all a concept. Yeah, you know especially I mean? especially in London, like yeah. it's so multicultural. Yeah, like even just um, when you go out for food. Yeah, the, the the amount of options you can come back to food. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, obviously, obviously. obviously. cake. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the amount of options you have in terms of your food, like it just goes to show like the the different. Um, Influencers that have come in, yeah, just just for you to be able to eat, and then through that, then you meet people, yeah. Like, even as like at our age, or even when you are a student as yeah. well, like you're saying, yeah. it's just just yeah, that's life now, yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, I'll go back to always with social media, like when 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 none of, it, none of this was about, all you were fed was history for your family, yeah. So that's all you that's what you yeah. get. So from from going back in the fifties, sixties, whatever everything that was going on there, yeah. that, would, that would filter through down into the next generation. Definitely. Now with social media, where you can access anything anywhere, like you, you're given so much information yeah, that yeah, yeah. you've just got this complete different perspective perspective on the whole world and people. So true. So me, me going up and meeting people, 
I don't even look at you and think, oh, you're black or oh, you're Asian or oh, you're the. No, yeah. you're, you're a person. A person. Yeah, you gotta be your mouth and put your foot in it before I think anything. Yeah. yeah. See, you're, you're coming up in Essex. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. <coughs> You coming up in Essex, yeah. like, cause you know, like certain times. Say if a cousin of a cousin of ours came from our like came from <coughs> Africa or something, you know, like, <coughs> he will uh, genuine, genuinely they <laughs> their, fir- their first <laughs> girlfriends, yeah, are are not even just white, but just like say like, like well, well, just like of different cultures, mm. Spanish, mm. Uh, English, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and. You know, like you being uh, from Essex, you know, like coming to London, are you, are you almost like the African cousin? You know what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you've come to London and, you're, and there's different options. Like, Not, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, oh, and, and there's it, pretty ones, accessible. You know what I mean? It's yeah. different. Like. Well, luckily, I met my wife in Essex. Yes. But oh, she's. Man. But so then when I came to London, you're the- I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, good. Yeah. However, for a single person coming to London, yeah, mm. take your pick. Yeah, yeah. but so even I mean, coming out of your country, like he said, yeah, my country's coming out of Essex. Yeah. I mean, you know, like you had your general, your gen- your general option. Even just like say you met her in Essex. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really change. But but but, but that was a very small percentage. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, I think what what was happening with. East London, a lot of East Londoners were being moved out to kind of Thurrock Essex out that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So it was starting to diversify. Cultures yeah. were kind of coming in yeah. into that Thurrock area where we met. Go deeper into Essex, kind of where I'm from. Yes, it is majority white. Yeah. We, we even went to look at a house in Essex and lovely place, fairly close to the station. But even my wife, she was like, I'm the only one here. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, like, where, where, where it's like, well, you're not, but you are, you are. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. that's where I started to learn. Yeah, you start to see, 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 see a see, lot more. Yeah, um, where it's like people will talk to you, but they will talk to you, but they will already have a kind of uh, an assumption about you. So you, yeah. you believe in white privilege? No, do you believe, when I say that, do you believe there is such thing as white privilege? Hundred oh, percent. Of course there is, oh, and it's BS. Do you believe? It's, yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Do you believe black, black privilege? Do I, do I believe in black privilege? Yeah. Hell yeah. You think so? What do you think about it? Huh? What do you think about that? What do I think about it? Yeah. What, and what do you mean? So I'm saying he believes he both he believes there's white privilege and there's black privilege, yeah? Okay, um my privilege, my perception of my privilege is I come from a great line of kings. Everyone's trying to get right. what you I don't understand what your question you're no. asking me. So I'm saying it's so quick, everyone like says is, is there white privilege, yeah? Mm. So I ask the question, is there black privilege? Yeah, and, no, but no I get I used to get a yes on both sides. No, yeah? but there, there, there is but there isn't. But see the thing, yeah, this is the difference. Like, if I walk in some, inside somewhere, yeah. people look at me a certain way. Like, they're expecting a certain... There's a where? Certain, where? Here? Here in this country, in okay. loads of places. No, but that's, that's here. What do you mean? Like, I'm saying that, that dialogue would be here. If you, if, you, if you was in certain places that are used to it, they wouldn't... You wouldn't. You gotta say it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm working, no, I'm telling so you, within, it doesn't within matter. It doesn't matter. Community, no, it doesn't matter. Black privilege. No, I'm saying. No, I'm do, you saying think, do you believe there's privi- privileges in being black? I'm saying, of course, there's privilege. There's privilege in being black. There's privileges in being white. And there's privileges in being white, right? Yeah, no, but what I'm saying, white but privileges. If, if you, oh, you feel like everybody can access the privileges, they can. But listen to uh. Well, you need to. You need yeah, to, they you, can. You need if, to distinct, distinguish. You need what to understand them. White yeah, so alright, cool. There's let's just say there's a pot of white privilege here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> and there's a pot of black privilege here. Yeah, uh, yeah. But what is what is to you? Yeah. What, is, what, is, what is black privilege? Because I can explain what I think white privilege is. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like where I can, I can you, 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 you you come in. I'm not saying you can't explain. But I'm just yeah. saying. So for me to understand the question you're asking me, so I can then answer yeah. it. It's like. If a white person comes into a place where I'm working now, yeah. you, you don't you don't think any kind of way, and this is fucked up. But if a group of black guys come through doing certain things, I'm gonna be more like I'll be more wary of them. I'm not I'm not as wary of as well, if they was in suits. Huh? If they were in suits. What the thing is, like I think if they was in suits, what the, the black guys. Uh, only do you know what the funny thing is? I don't feel threatened by white people. I feel no. threatened by black people. And you know in a bad way, no, no, listen, 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 listen to what I'm saying to you. It's like it, no, it doesn't matter what they're wearing. Yes, it does. Not to me. That's what I'm trying to say to you. No, but it thing does. Is, if people is. was wearing no, me, if, 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 like tracksuits and hats, yeah. hats, yeah, and there was eight of them, yeah? Assumption, yeah. bang. Assumption, yeah? But if there was eight lawyer dressing guys walking towards you, yeah. you would not have the same assumptions as the guys that's in the in the, 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 the tracksuits and the hats. Fair enough, but if it was white or black, it's the same thing for me. Just 10 white guys in tracksuits and 10 white guys, same, same so, fucking so thing So that's me. not what intimidates you, is the clothing? No. 
What are you talking about? Cl- like people's costumes intimidate people more yeah. than. No, but I'll be like, I'm, I'm telling you now, if this is me, yeah. just Ayo, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be scared of no disrespect. I love you of Harry eating my food. If there's someone sitting across the table looking exactly like Harry but it's black, I might be afraid of him eating my food. And that's just something in me that I'm having a problem. Like, I feel like another lion come to eat my food. But, yeah. but has and that that's been, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Has that been fed down to you? Exactly. I, I believe through social media, through my mm. own experiences, yeah, and, and something media. I've learned, I've, I've before social media, I, 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 social I don't media. even, I'm not really in social media. That's you what I'm saying. That? I'm just saying, like, in terms of a lot of these things have been fed to us. Yeah, it's probably been fed to me then. How can we? Because every room. And no disrespect, you know, I love you to bits and it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't oh, touch God. your food anyway because <laughs> I, I respect my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> every room has a different set of people. Mm. You mm. can never walk into one room with the same set of people. Yeah. So when people have these like uh, these rhetorics of oh, this will happen if I walked into this room and how they would take me and how they would do, that's bullshit. All of it's bullshit. Mm. It's mad because going back to the white privilege privilege black privilege like it's like if I were to walk into a supermarket Mm -hmm. I can walk in there and be completely comfortable and confident I'm not going to be followed around but they're so can I but it's depending on how I think how you think no but you still still might get followed around but you you still might get followed (laughs) yeah no but you you still might get followed but I have the it's perception and perspective it is on the other person as well though no like I'm saying like depending on how no how you leave your house yeah Mm. like so, like, say for instance, if there was a, 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 a store detective following a white guy, yeah. he might, he just might not see it. It's not that it's not happening. Who might I, not I'd, see it? I'd see it. I'd know. Maybe, maybe I would. Not. No, I maybe, would. no, but like you said, you, you said earlier that there's certain things that you wouldn't notice uh, in terms of racism. But now, well, only now, it's starting to being, 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 being in that inter- interracial relationship. They become up on so much more. Yeah. Than if I was. <laughs> just, before did before. Just, just a white guy but, that's what's but I mean, what I mean by it is that some pe- people be like right this guy's following us up and see me I'm sort of like say for instance depending just, on yeah depending on how you I'm just saying that like, maybe yeah. everyone's different but I know there's, there's some people I know a lot of people that do like to watch all their things and I'm like sometimes the person isn't following us mm. like do you know what I'm saying sometimes you might even know the person you know what I'm saying yeah like, yeah of course so it's just that, that that thing that everyone's got so their back's up based on what they've already been fed yeah, yeah. Because again, like I said, we haven't been around each other for that long for us to say but this is something that's that, been going on for hundreds of years. Yeah, but still, Jay. Um, yeah, but still, I can walk inside somewhere and I know when someone's onto me. I'm not a thief. I'm not thing. I'm thinking oblivious about certain thing. But sometimes people just onto you. Yeah. You know, just because you're big and black, and I get the poem I written before you know, but they're just onto you, and there's nothing you. You. It's not like it's nothing to do with me. No. No matter what I do, they'll be onto me. It, I but think I've gone to buy stuff and I'm asking for something and, they, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're waiting for me to bring my money out yeah. before they bring the thing out. Yeah. And, and the, person, the person in front of them, Bob, I had to cuss someone about this. They yeah. put the thing out, they put in a bag and everything. So I'm like, why did you do that to me? What the fuck? Like, yeah, that, no, that's, I've that's, lost it because of that. But that's probably based off that other person's experience yeah. and what they've been fed. Fair yeah. enough. So it's a mad one, isn't it? Like, Fair everyone's enough. fed so much, yeah. so much different stuff. But I think as we go on in life and as generations, more generations come and information is more accessible yeah over time it will slowly start to dissipate but uh, yeah of course but a people just judge you on based on different things do you get what i'm saying to yeah you? i might be like i might be a chubby guy walking with a pretty girl and they would treat me like the rich man do you yeah. understand yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so yeah. like where is someone that you're, you're you got that experience they might the way they've analyzed me or whatever it may they be they would know how come you got that chick yeah, do you understand what i'm saying so now i'm getting treated like a king everywhere yeah 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 just because of that, if they didn't, they didn't, the whole black thing for me, it's, it's gone out the window. They're just yeah. saying, this guy's rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's got the money. <laughs> Whatever it may be, I'm just mm. saying that there's different perspectives that different people have at different times. Yeah. You can't keep putting it down to the same old, same olds. Because no, I think like, if we do them, them, them little circuit ways. So like you're feeding it. Yeah, you're feeding it. And it's not the truth because you go to different places and get different experiences. And then you got to go all the, way back, all the way back to the root of where have you, where have you come, what, like, how come you've come to that? Yeah, why do you feel like, like that? that? And why does that trigger you? 100%. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Because there's different things that you might, me and you might get the same experience, mm. but it will trigger you differently. Mm. And it will trigger mm. me differently. So yeah, you, yeah. you might not have a trigger for it, sorry, and I might have a trigger for it yeah. or vice versa. So like, mm. we might be, we might go into a shop and they just, for whatever place, let's say we're in France for the day, yeah? And they just heard us speaking English. Yeah. And there's places where they don't like English. Do you get what yes. I'm saying? So now we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting dealt with on a basis that we're two English guys in this place. 
and it doesn't matter. There's a lot of black French that speak. So, like, and I've been there, and, I've, and I know I've seen that disparity between the English speaking person exactly. and a French speaking, even Germans, well, they don't fucking yeah, like it. They don't, right. and then they, sometimes you get so no matter what color you are. <laughs> so now you're, you're English, getting, you're getting the, the pro, that, that whole French. treatment because you're, you're you're both English. And yeah. last time the English guys <laughs> were here last week. You hear what I said? Yeah. Did you hear what I said? I didn't hear what you said. I love myself. I said, uh, you know that part of my French? I was like, ah, putain. Excuse my French. <laughs> and I just realised that's he said French. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's a self gratification there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that, I enjoyed that. I really yeah, did enjoy that. Good shot. But you get what, that's what? That's all I'm saying. I just feel like a lot. If when you break things down, it kind of makes a lot of the things that people say sound stupid. Mm. Yeah. And if it seems like we're following just a narrative, a lazy narrative that that is going on and going on and on and on and on. And no one's, no one even, no one even able to express and hear different stories. Like I say, he probably, that like, um, Harry's probably experienced the same level of racism or prejudice or whatever you want to call it, because he's in that cu- that culture. So he can't say, you know, what I'm saying you can't even yeah. just say it's racism because he's because he's white because he's ginger. But he's he might have re- the same thing that someone came here and lived and was the only black guy in the area or whatever lived in the area and they chased him down and all of that and all of that. He might have gone through that same kind of history. Like his his grow up his history might be the same, but he can't talk about that because what he can't even express it in that manner because he has to think about those, those these guys and that history before I even express he expresses his own experience in this earth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That kind of matches up to similar to to anyone that would have gone through it. I just find it funny. And how do you talk about the history of that history? Of- Mm. the history of how people are treated just because they're slightly different because yeah. you've got like say for instance you're born in Africa and you're, you're light skin yeah. you're going to get the treatment badly because you're the light skin guy mm. yeah so the light skin guy gets the horrible treatment to the point maybe he has to even whatever move or whatever well my, my wife's scared of going to certain African African countries because she's light skin she's classed as red yeah in Trinidad she's as you're, you're not giving it your wife no no yeah yeah, but she's red skin. Yeah. That's what they class her as. So yeah. She's light. Yeah. She's, but she's black. Like, mum's black, dad's black. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But she it's won't go to certain African countries because yeah. she knows for a fact she'll be a target. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. I'm like, when I found that out, I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's only yeah. through research. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, that's... No, it's a real thing. That's serious stuff. So, it's like, how comes they're not being held held accountable for that? Who? The people that are racist in those other countries? Yeah. They make it like, if you're a certain colour, you can't be racist, but you can if the concept of just making people feel feel uncomfortable and, and being violent towards people no, that I are wouldn't. different colours and a uh, different colour to you. Yeah. I don't like I say to you, I will, I can go all day on, on what I think. Yeah, but there's racism. racism. I, I would agree really with you, there's racism and you and you couple that together with, with the classism as well. Like in certain yeah, class, cultures. Yeah, classism is more real than racism, if you yeah, ask me. It, so in certain cultures as well. So it's, that's it's, why they throw racism. When real issues are going on, they throw race the race card, the racism issues. Because the racism issues are kind of it's they're kind of neither here nor there in a certain way. So they make people argue about something that's ne- that neither here nor there anyway. You're never going to come to any kind of resolution yeah. when you throw <laughs> racism in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> how, and, and, how and, and, it, but, but and it completely Sorry. takes the, the view off the actual problem. Exactly. Every single time. Um, I was going to fall for it. I was going to ask you, in, in, um, within your relationship, yeah. um, has, really been, has there been any times where you and your wife have both had uh, had that kind of um, moment, like let's just say there's something's come on the TV or you've seen something, you've said something. Obviously, you have discussions. Yeah, yeah. But where you've had just had one of those moments where you're just like, I just, I've fucking had enough of this. This is just like, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, like for me, right? Just to be funny, there was a time when there was black people on TV. I saw an advert and it was just. It was just like you just put black and Indian there just because there was no black and Indian there before. You just like saturated it just because. Yeah, yeah. To me, it's just as bad as what he's doing before. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a, a real it's, depiction it's like, of what's going on. You're yeah, taking yeah. the piss you're now. Ta- yeah, you're taking the mick. Yeah. 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 It's like you're actually throwing it back in. BLM, place. you. Right. We we started seeing loads of mixed race families in adverts. Yeah. And we're like, every time we see one, see one, we're like, oh, there we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, become, it's become a joke. I love know? that. Oh, there we are again. And even gingers, you're seeing more ginger guys mm. with black women or mixed race women. Mm. Yeah, and like, oh, there we are. Yeah, oh, yeah. there we are again. And it 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 is kind of throwing it back in our face now, where it's like beforehand, and, and I'm talking more like towards like kind of the black community and stuff like that. Like beforehand, there wasn't that inclusion in adverts. It yeah. was the the white happy family in the suburbs with, um, you know, the the picket fence and the car, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But now but, I think- But that's here. 
You got saying that like everyone doesn't really understand. There's always been media in other countries. Mm. But I've never seen that advert where the where the where the where the woman puts the the bloody black man in the washing machine, uh, and he comes out it. white. Yeah, yeah. Have you not seen? Have you not seen that? Is that in Europe? Huh? That was in, that was in Europe. Uh, I think it's in Europe or or, or an Asian country. Yeah, like, but, but Africa is such Sorry, a big continent. Don't, yeah? don't, don't, don't. Africa yeah. is an amazing, massive continent. Yeah. yeah, and they have loads of media with black people. Yeah, and they probably don't represent enough white people in their media. <laughs> so yeah, but that's but but, but, but Africa's Africa. Yeah, no, but Africa's Africa. What do you mean by that? I mean Africa's Africa. The population of Africa is it, more it, than the whole world. Yeah, but the population of Af- Africa, yeah, compared to the population of England, as far as I'm aware, yeah. is a lot. Is is more that is more black. This is more well, multicultural. The, the no, but the, the representation percentage. within the country is different. Like I'm saying here, you got the the the, the percentage of people you got Indian, Chinese, um, white, black, this that people were watching the adverts in London, in Africa, in we've London, in yeah, England, like no, in, no, Africa, no, in England, people. like in England, we got in London's very diverse, yeah. You got London, Birmingham, Manchester, you know the yeah, cities, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the basically, c- yeah. This <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything but <laughs> so, yeah, Bush, Still, Bush, yeah. white Shepherd's people, Bush. <laughs> nah. Bush. No, no, yeah. but oh, Bush, Bush countryside, sticks, sticks, yeah. sticks, 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 sticks. like you got to think about it. Like I say, those places are still very uh, white dominated. This mm-hmm. day, yeah. So mm-hmm. my whole thing is that you go to Dover and Kent and all them. You know what I'm saying? Plim- yeah, all them yeah. kind of. Um, where am I talking? Plymouth. Let's go. You know them Cornwall. Cornwall that's yeah, what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know I went to um, Devon or Cornwall? We went camping. Devon, that's what I was we went about. camping like me like this is about 10 years ago and I've gone to the shop to buy something there's a little white kid he's going mum look there's Gus from EastEnders yeah, 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 yeah. that's what the guy he said it he yeah. didn't have no problem with saying that like, I never felt no way about it either but yeah, he's the yeah. little, little kid little kid goes mum look there's Gus yeah. I look nothing like the guy do you know what I mean? Of my demeanor, I'm, Your features, it's, nothing, yeah, nothing like except. It, that was do you know what? It takes like, say for instance, you go in a bar and you meet a really cool guy. Again, you know that like, there's good people everywhere. Yeah. And that's something I don't want, I think that doesn't get said enough as well. Yeah. Yeah. Every a, single race and everywhere culture. Everywhere there's yeah, yeah, good yeah, yeah. people. Yeah, and yeah, a good yeah, person yeah, yeah. always has a good conversation with you. Yeah. You might be at a bar and they'll be like, I know people are looking at you, but it's not because they're, it, they're just really, they're kind of amazed by you. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, that, yeah. that conversation is never had in the media. Mm. You know, like, that's no, the kind of conversation because... you have when you go somewhere and, and people are looking at you and you're, and then someone actually would just say to you, you know, they're yeah. actually not looking at you because they have any problems. Yeah. That, going back to media, that doesn't drive a reaction. I think it does, though. No, 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 no. no, 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 no that they want. I'm saying it's like, it's like, but if, oh, if, if, they were to put, if they were to put that story in as a positive story, yeah. it'd be a, move on. But like, if it, but because they flip it the other way, and it's more, more, people like to have about stuff. People react. And that's yeah. what builds up. That, I, and what, I don't think that what media want. as much as they don't push, it's like push it. It's <coughs> like these are underlying things that are not. You know what I'm saying? I still mm. think people would appreciate to know that. You know, like when you travelled, yeah, for the first time in your life. You know, like you'd probably thought even. You know, like here, yeah, we're taught just being English. If we go somewhere, we got to be careful. Or, you know what I mean? Like so, it's like we all have that before we got our colour. Well, you know what I mean? So we have that little privilege thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we it's try true. to not just talk it's about true. it, but yeah. we've, all, we've all got it if we're from here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that even just having, even just coming, like being in England, mm. yeah, knowing that you just have a privilege from being English. British, yeah. British. So like if even you, a Londoner. Yeah, a Londoner. So, Londoner. So Americans Londoner. love, like, American love English, but they love if you're from London. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know but it's, it's there's a lot of privileges just being here, isn't it? Yeah. But, if you're here and if you're born here. So it's I'm true. saying like, you could look at the, the the privileges of the if you want to look at it as a color you can but you can if you look at it, it's the way a country a kind of country a con- the country kind of holds itself in a way but because anyone that lives if anyone that's born here is kind of got certain privileges around the world yeah well just it's a passport that's what I mean but due passport to that, NHS there's someone there's so much stuff yeah. stuff stuff um, social services but for me the point I wanted to make um because you just because what you said what I find in my experience. When I go up north, when I've been up north for that places, they're so much nicer than people down here. Yeah, they're so much yeah, more receptive. Yeah, there yeah. is they, and they really, as far as I'm concerned, don't initially see color. No. Or even if they do, they be like, "All right," they still kind of get past it and get on with it. Well, you, you say, do you so know what I mean? In my current workplace, you've met one of my staff who's from up north. Who? Which one? The one, the, the one who's gone back up north. No, no, no. She's she's in now. Oh, that little that little one with the with the lips. What's yeah. her name? What's she starts with? And he starts with A or and what's her name? Leah. Leah, Leah, that's it. Leah. She's a lovely girl. Lovely yeah, girl. Yeah, with the lips. 
Yeah, she yeah, got lips. No, you know, you know, for certain features you see straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. got really nice Wait, lips. But she's from yeah. Stoke. And she was so fucking nice. And, and she is proper bubbly. Yeah, chat, 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 chat. Bam! And she even said that herself. Like, people from up north are just. They'll just, you'll be walking in the street and you go, hi, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Here, if you do that here, the, you can't people look at you like, sorry, are you all right? Is this to say, are you all right asking me if I'm all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a question back. Like, are you mad? But And that's why we think when we go other places, they're looking at us for other reasons. Like, yeah, but that's the not you know what I'm saying? That's because, the, no, it's just your environment. We're so used to here, we're not really looking at each other for a good reason. You know that? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you just what? Right you good? You all right? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, yeah. a, it's, it's a London thing as I would say yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah, so yeah. it's like but like you're saying even Essex has got a bit of it Essex is still a, a bit, bit Londonish. Yeah. like because I, I know I, I've been around yeah. Essex I've had my little experiences up there to know it's got that it's still got a London element you've yeah. still got tough sides up there do you know what I mean there's tough parts where, where, it's where? Because, where? Essex yeah. but it's because yeah. people are travelling out from London up into Essex yeah definitely, definitely. as well so it's, 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 it's starting to build that environment yeah. in yeah. Essex now in the clubs, in the in the bars, but even like, it was more of a fighting place, you know. Like there was always a lot of fights when I went to Essex. I don't know if it was the, the same place, you know, like for part, like you know, them clubs and stuff that's up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There yeah, was Brent, always like, like my Woodford roundabout. I used to go there. Yeah, what's it called? That's Woodford, Woodford, Essex people don't consider Woodford as Essex. No, it's like Woodford. I'm like that. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> RS Lounge. I, don't I know what you're talking about. RS Lounge, but is it RS Lounge? Yeah. yeah. There's always like, used to be fights in there. Not always fights there, but like I even clocked that. Even every time I've said Woodford to people that's from Essex, yeah. like, nah, nah. But people, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, that's, that's London, isn't it? Yeah. But people from Woodford <laughs> claim Essex. You know that, right? Yeah. They claim Essex. Yeah, yeah they're, they're clutching. Trust yeah. me, they're clutching. Literally they're, fingernails. Fingernails. People, anyone else says that's Woodford stuff? <laughs> They call it Wolves though, yeah? Like yeah. they take the piss and say like, oh, that's Wolves though. That's Wolves though, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, what, what's the postcode? Is that on the postcode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 W, ain't that Wolves? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot. No, but yeah, uh, I learned how big Essex was only as I got older. I thought Essex was just like a little, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, based on that. Essex is massive. It's huge, man. It's like it's half of London, isn't it? Not half of, so half of England. Essex is that well, big? It's, it's, it's big. It's massive. Yeah. Essex and Kent, yeah? Yeah. And Kent and Essex go inside that like oh how can I explain Kent, see the south of south of London yeah you can you can get onto this Kent side of Essex am I saying the right thing so, well, no, Kent, Kent, Kent is Kent Kent, Kent is Kent, Kent. Kent. alright so Kent so south of London you can get to Kent <coughs> yeah there's a side of south London that goes <coughs> excuse that, me that goes into Kent as soon as you go down south east through like like Fulham Kent. and all the places yeah South East, yeah, South East, South East, South East, North East, all that, you keep going, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Dartford Tunnel and all that. Or well, that is it. You've got the Dartford Bridge, Dartford yeah, Tunnel, Dartford, connect all okay. Kent and Essex. Kent and Essex, yeah. Oh, is that, yeah, okay. That and is then, it. And then you've got, a, 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 a in Kent, Essex connects, there's a, there's a connect in there, innit, for, like, there's a, you can go through Kent to get to Essex, basically. That's, that's the bridge. And, the and then you've got, Long. Yeah, through London, it's East London to get to Essex. Drive know? through Barking. Yeah. Barking, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barking, Walthamstow, Woodford, and all that lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like to, to get out there. To Essex. To get into Essex. And then to, if you want to go to Kent, you can go through like South London. But then, and then, but Kent and Essex meet somewhere there. Is what, like in there. Well, that way, well, it's a bridge. It's the one. It's, it's yeah. the Thames. No, the Thames. The Thames splits us. Is it? So the Thames splits us completely. And then, um, do you know South End? So when yeah. you go South End Beach, it's not the beach; it's the Thames Estuary. Is it's it? actually the Thames. Yeah, yeah. it's not. It's not. It's not the sea. It's, it's the. It's the Thames. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? When you go South End, it's not the beach; it's, it's, it's the, the Thames. It's the it's Thames. Thames. So the same Thames in the South Bank. That's what the water is. Yeah, it filters. Filters out. Oh Damn. my god! Nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't go to water. No, I don't like water. Fair enough. I mean, how far does the Thames go? Does it go out so you can like take a boat from the Thames and it's just go to the It's got to have to go. It has to, doesn't it? Go got to stop anyway. Oh, so like, so the I, rivers go somewhere, don't they? I, I, <laughs> I, I, I random, I'm, I'm a bit sad, but I randomly did this. I actually tried to follow the Thames into the country, and it goes almost to the other side. Almost, no, I said almost the other side to like the centre of England and slightly past it towards west. Okay. That's kind of where it starts. And it filters down, and he kind of hit into London. And then it takes it down through Essex, through Kent, that, that divide. That's what, that's what connects them too, it's a Dartford Tunnel and Dartford Bridge. Okay. So you've got Lakeside and you've got Blue Water. Yes. The shopping centre. So, and then, yeah, and then it takes so you So Lakeside is Thames as well? See, that's why they got them names. What? Lakeside, Lakeside is the Thames? We, no, it's Lakeside Shopping Centre. Yeah. Yeah, like... The been, river, the water there is the, yeah, the Thames cause, River. Because you've got like Tilbury and Perthley and Greys. Yeah. That's all on the Thames Estuary. 
Wow. Yeah, just the teacher in you is coming out, mate. Yeah. yeah. The teacher in you is coming out, man. Yeah. I never knew the teacher. I, 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 really, I really hope I'm right, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know let's what? Hope, I did see in EastEnders, you could see the teacher. <laughs> yeah, that, you watch, you watch your intro. You watch the intro. <laughs> Can I want it? Next time you watch it, if you, you should be there like that. Yeah. Pause, the, it, the pause, one that's it, pause it, pause it. Going like that. That's the Thames, right? The the, the biggest, yeah. yeah that, that, it was out. Yeah, yeah, if it was out, yeah. There you go. Um, huh? Oh, one of them. It was a drink. Why did you give me a. I'm not there. I'm not I'm not I'm not there. 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 I'm um, and even me, like for me being there, I'm in a small portion of it. And it where, do you, where do you want to live? Where do I want to live? Who and your wife? Trinidad. You don't want to be here? Nah, I'm tired of being here. Why? Um, so I've, I've been to Trinidad a good few times. And just the way of living out there is so much nicer. So you're not just tired of being here, you're interested in living out there as well. Oh, massively. Yeah, like, Rangers. so like she, so like she was born and bred Trini. She had education was there up until she had college over here. No, please. Um, and the education system there is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously Definitely. it depends on your school you go to whatever, but she went to a really good school. Yeah. And her education was amazing. Like when she came here, she was, her and her sister were put into bottom set because they just assumed that they didn't know anything. Yeah. Because they come from a, a, a third world country. Yeah, yeah. And same, same as you, right? Sir, no, when you finish, when you finish. Oh, okay, fine. Sir, yeah. sir. Um, <laughs> and then you. they were given like questions and in lessons, like ask, ask questions and they were like, we learned this two years ago. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We learned this two years ago, like why you ask? And then all of a sudden everyone's like so shocked. Yeah. And like, oh, do you, do you, do you have Wi-Fi where you're from? are you backwards like, obviously we do yeah huh. so like just coming here it was you know having that 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 assumption that the judgment straight away of you're uneducated yeah, but, they, but, they, that's part of what they give us though isn't it you know what i'm saying that that, that superior like we're we are so much smarter than yeah, everyone and then yeah. you get someone that comes in your year and they're like we, i was studying this about two three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, I, could, I could teach you yeah, that yeah. Kind of thing. what kills me is the way nigerians yeah my Niger what i've learned about nigerians the way they use the English language is the appropriate way the English language is supposed to be used. I don't know other countries, I know some other countries need to do it as well, but the, the, when my cousins have come over and they've used words and they've they've defined the words and implemented, put them in the right sentence and yeah, they're yeah. just, I'm like, uh? uh and then it goes, no, that, no, but the, the implication of the, of the gratification of the, sim, of the, the, of the, the simplification the, the, of the thing, it should actually be, I'm like, uh? But they just do it so well and just so, fl it's just- So, so fluent. Education. Because it's that's education. That's education. education. No, they've learned the proper grammar the right way where we get lazy with some things because and, we're here. And that's the why- The privilege. The privilege. The privilege. That's why we want to move. Isn't it? So, that's why you, can I ask you one question before you think though? Or can I just throw something in there as well right now? Is this your thing? So are you your first wife's first white boyfriend? No. Cool. Do you think it's the thing what the voice behind the camera was saying before, yeah. like her coming over and then having the access and then wanting something that's not in her country, or no. it's just... No, because she wasn't brought up like that. Mm -hmm. She was brought up as... I think, it, you go to Trinidad, everyone celebrates everything. Yeah. They celebrate everything? Everything, every religion. I didn't know that. 100%. That's it's, another it's, it's, it's a, uh, what's he call it? A Kalalu pot, where it's like a bit of everything thrown in. Kalalu pot. Kalalu. Yeah, pot, Kalaloo, yeah, Kalaloo pot, yeah, Kalaloo pot. Yeah, go, 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 yeah, yeah. Is it right? I think, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. But I think that is it. But it's like everyone, it is, it everyone is. loves everyone. Every, yeah. Everyone celebrated. Yeah. They have so many public holidays, it's amazing. Is that <laughs> why you want to go and live there? Another reason, you <laughs> like a lot of that, didn't you, Harry? Small portion, small portion. Small portion. What would you like when you was, can I ask you what you was like when you was younger? Because I don't feel like it's anything different for you. I don't feel like you did something that was so far from who you are. Like, like by but this is a, with your girlfriend. This is a man thing, so like, She's had conversations with people and they're like, oh my God, like Harry's so different from his family and friends. I'm so different. See. I don't see it. I don't, I don't see how I became like it or why. Yeah. I just am. But you, you are your own individual person, like anybody. Yeah. There's things that people say about me that they're, they're drawn to and um, I don't see it. He always says stuff, but then I'm drawn to you for a certain reason. There's a certain reason why you're sitting across the table from me right yeah. now. There's a certain reason why me and your friends, there's a certain reason why you see how I am when I go out. There's some people I talk at and some people I talk to. to. Yeah. 
Yeah, There's something yeah, within course. you that is it's a beautiful thing. It's very relaxed, laid back. And yeah. it's just like, you're not judgmental. You're not, you're a nice fucking guy, mate. Yeah, well, you know I'm, what I'm saying? And I, you're not stupid. It's just, you've got a lot going on over there, bro. That's the thing. No I'm, homo. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> but I love people. That's yeah, the thing. This is what comes there's, out of There's you. days where, don't get me wrong, because of like, my mental health, like, I do suffer from anxiety, depression. Yeah. I've had it quite bad when I was younger, like really bad. Well, I just don't want to talk to anyone. Leave yeah, me alone. Yeah. I just want a day or two days where I just do nothing. Yeah. But I do love people. Yeah. I love I love community. I love like good upbeat environments. That's why yeah, yeah. I, that's why I work in the industry I live it. Uh yeah. why I work okay. in the industry I work okay, in. Yeah. Because the the feeling you get from doing what you do. <laughs> like which I was like I don't really work out anymore. But yeah. like the, That's like not the what I'm laughing at. I'm sorry. That's right. Um, that's why I, see, I just feel like you see that his experience no one's again just your, your experience with discrimination yeah did it give you similar character to being uh, like a almost like being a young oh. man <coughs> like because of the ginger like yeah acclimatised um, to it was you yeah you, you like, I don't know if those stories was little or what you were saying like people used to, you, not that yeah. the ginger give you, give yeah you I just have to run away yeah, stuff like that. But you then I, I became so fast that it. You could catch up. No, away from that, just the fact that there was oh. things said and things thrown at you yeah, that you had to overcome. Mm. The kind of like I say to you, because not all of us, even as being black, black growing up here, we don't all go through that. No, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, some people yeah. go through it, some people do. Some, some people do, and some people don't. Sorry, I went through it. Yeah, and, so, and not everyone you know did go through yeah, it. Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it big time. so the fact that you went through what you went, through, I, feel, I feel like again, if we strip down, yeah, the the narratives and what you're supposed to say and we're supposed to think, it kind of like anyone that goes through a certain amount of of that kind of thing growing up, will I think they will relate to relate to a wider range of people it's than true. people that haven't it's been true. through that. It's true. Definitely. You know just just Definitely. kind of realizing now, I'm pretty sure there were less. No, that there were more black people in my year at school than ginger people. Yeah. So I was more of a minority <laughs> than black people. Do you know what I'm saying? When you say it, it's just crazy, <laughs> but yeah. Then it. But then obviously some people go, yeah, but you're still white. It's like, all right, cool. No. Nah. But it's not the same. I it's wasn't not, looked at. Not. I wasn't necessarily always looked at as it's white. It's your experience. I was looked at as ginger. ginger. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, well, you're brown, you're blonde. Yeah. What's the difference? But still you're ginger. And that's where it was just like. That's oh. what I'm saying. So the discrimination is just like it's there, isn't it? Maybe but like it's, maybe maybe on like a deeper level. That's why we can. It's, like, it's not because you got to remember when you're at this age. Look at you know how to you know that it's not it's not a thing. Yeah. You know how to you know how you people, can own it. You can yeah, own it. you know how people you know how to make yourself look. You know how people are attracted to but, you. But that but that was forced through bullying. But that's what I'm saying to you. This is my whole point. Yeah. <laughs> so did it build the same character that it would build if you come if from another country? Let's just say, for instance, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You come from another... And it, let's just say you come from another country and you're not, it might not even be black. It might mm. be Turkish. Yeah. And you might be Polish. Yeah, and yeah. And they can't say to you today, but you're white still. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're from another place and you're being discriminated. Like, again, just going through that, I feel like builds a... Because we as black people, we don't get to... No one says to us, oh, how do you get, how do you get on with white people so well? Yeah, it's so do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one says that. <laughs> After we done to us, yeah. <laughs> no, I, like how do you get on with Asian people so well? They don't say those things to us, no. but it's like when a white guy gets on with people that like it generally gets on with everyone and doesn't try to put himself in it. They're like, oh, like they're almost like, how are you doing it? It's like, so confusing. It's so yeah, true. Like, like, <laughs> what's your secret? Yeah. <laughs> Please share it. You're like, what? And you're like, what? I'm not doing nothing. You know what I'm being you, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having a conversation. I'm just, I'm just being a human being. Conversing with them as. Do you understand? Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like that part of it. That's why I say that. Is it, it's like when you have that understanding of people that are just like, they're people that are ignorant and there's people that yeah. ain't ignorant. Mm. Well, this is the thing that I could Shame have me. easily grown up hating people. Exactly. For being easily. Mm. But I don't know. I, I guess it was part of my upbringing, like from my family, my parents, and that was just, you know, they were sociable people. And my mum's like, work, my mum works in a school, so she's a very, very sociable person. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah. so you've followed your mum's footsteps a little bit? Or she works in school now? She works in school now. She worked in a, she's worked in a school for, same school <coughs> for, <coughs> excuse me, 27 years? Wow. Something like that, long time. Oh, so what's from you, she's free? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Then doing the math, you told me your age, mate, so I'm yeah, doing the math now. Know, maybe, like, so she's seen that, like, so I'm the youngest of three. So she's seen like my oldest sister kind of go through primary and then and then me as well and, and from there. Sisters is married? Yeah, so one, both married. One lives right by my parents in Essex. Uh, she's got two girls and the other one lives in America in Texas. Oh, wow. Nice, I've been there. It's nice out there. I've never been. See, I've never she, been there. But US. she's... How long has she been there? It's not good for... Huh? So how long has she been there? Sorry. That's a great question. 
Um, I'm going to say it's eight years. So you plan to go so, soon? To visit? Well, we, so we are actually moving to Trinidad. Going back to your question Oh, before, you really are moving We are actually going to move. I'm coming to visit you. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> for the carnival. Well, we were meant to move last year, mate. COVID messed well, up. For good. For Excuse good, me. for good. So yeah. originally it was December 2019. We went to, to Canada for Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. And we we're going to fly from there to, to Trinidad. And then... She like she she said to me she like, like I prayed about it and I feel like God's telling me May so I'm like alright cool let's let's save it till Religious, May. Religious yeah yeah nice. yeah yeah nice. um till May I'm like alright cool if I have to stick it out here longer I will yeah, yeah. and then literally booked our flights everything got bought the barrels packed the barrels of our stuff um bam COVID and we're like ah. I remember when you said to me you was going to go, I think. I said, I'm going to come and see you. Yeah. He's like, okay. Okay. But loads of people like, loads of people have. And that's cool. Like, I have no issue. Mm. Like, I want people to come and experience it because it's, it isn't every day you go, oh, I'm going to Trinidad on holiday. Yeah. I'm going to Tobago on holiday. Yeah. Like I've never been. Well, that's the thing. Like Before meeting her, I have... Crystal. I, Crystal. The only reason I knew of Trinidad was because of the World Cup. Because England played... Trinidad in the World Cup wow. yeah. and there was that whole big incident of Peter Crouch putting on the guy's dreadlocks yeah is it he put his locks yeah <laughs> and he's hated in Trinidad yeah, if, you, if, you, <coughs> if you if you listen to his podcast <coughs> he talks about that and it's jokes yeah. like it's kind of jokes but it's true like there's some Trinis who especially like my wife she's still like don't like him don't like Crouch yeah and, but that's the only that's the only reason why I found out about it to me <coughs> sorry guys that's right Trinidad was I thought was right next to Jamaica. I thought the Caribbean was like this small on the map, yeah, yeah. but it's not. It's, it's massive. Not. It's, it's massive, huge. Massive, massive. Hundreds of islands. It's. I think that it's a big lie of what they depict to us on the atlas. Because oh no no no! There's a video. The, the way they done them thing, the disparity is effed. Yeah. The way they size the countries is yeah, all wrong. Yeah, they made the other countries big. It's it's all effed. It's all effed. Definitely. Because it's all even effed. just driving through Jamaica. Mm. You'd be like, this is not as small as they said this place was. No, it's all F, it's F. Someone, I saw someone on the internet, like you said, they broke down, they pulled a map together and they showed yeah, how I think I like, certain it, places, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my, they yeah. showed this place is this, this place is that, like they're, they're not how they're shown on the map. So, so Trinidad is the biggest island in the Caribbean. Is it? Is, yeah. Wow. I never knew that. I think. I don't know that either. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Jamaica I mean, was, you know. And the, Trinidad and Tobago, yeah? Two separate islands. Exactly. So Trinidad, oh, sorry. So you got, have you got Trinidad and Trinidad and Tobago? No. Just Trinidad. Trinidad and Tobago, but they're close together. But they're sister islands. Okay. So they come on, they fall under the same flag. Everything. I thought it was Trinidad and then Trinidad and Tobago. I thought so, no. Trinidad and Tobago was in the Trinidad. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. So it's, it's, it's just a little island off, like okay. on the north, north east. So they're separate. I they're separate know. islands, but they're the same country. Yes. Uh, will fall under the same flag. So Trinidad's huge. And it could probably take you about... Comparatively, four hours, four hours to drive down yeah. from north to south. Uh, comparatively to England, what would you, or Wales? Here, or here to uh, here to Manchester. Like size wise. Wow. Oh, size wise. Big island. Mm, Bigger. I'm not sure. I'll be honest. I'm not oh. sure, but it's big. Like it's big. Yeah. Like we we when we were there for the wedding, like in Tobago, we drove around Tobago in like two hours. The whole island. Wow. Two hours. But that's that's not, that's not. I don't think it's the biggest thing. No, it's not. No, Tobago's not. Tobago's. He's quite a bit smaller. Four hours to get somewhere. Yeah. See what I mean? Three, four hours to get just to where we was going. Yeah. But I, I, that's the only Caribbean country I've been to. But, yeah. we, but we want to move. We are going to move. I'm coming, man. So yeah. with, it, with, with it being ginger, yeah. with the heat. It's not my friend. It's not my friend. Like The heat is not my friend. You went to a hot country. Air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> you got to talk to my son. My son wants me to Alaska. Because he doesn't love, like the heat either. Love that. Alaska that. because he's looking at you because it's not the sun but then the sun doesn't set um, he stays up for X amount of time and then he's it's dark for time. X amount of time yeah and so then plus off that snow mate it, it, it would mash you up completely like a body clock but um, no like it's fine like, I, I, the heat isn't really a problem for me like, I really don't care like the way technology is now you have aircon to be honest with you and you can, mm. you can easily survive all workplaces have aircon your car has aircon your house can you, you can get installed with aircon or you don't really have it here we don't have it here because we don't need it like mm. what, what we're having right now going through this heat wave is what three days and then that's it yeah for real though <laughs> yeah, I know, when, yeah. it's not, when it when it when it really does go off though sometimes like when it snows here when it, we have extreme weather 
We just can't deal with it. Everything no. just shuts down. Like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's crazy. Like, one, one inch of snow, like, the, uh, the C2C shuts down. What's the C2C? It's a train from um, oh. Fenchurch Street down out to Street. Oh, yeah, yeah. Out to Essex. I want to talk to you about... Um, I want to hear you talk to you about your, your message, but I want to talk to you about... Yeah, I'll happily talk about it all day. Yeah. Yeah, it's wicked. Um... Um, what do you think the the greatest benefit of having a what's that, what's a mixed relationship mixed is? Relationship. Yeah, what's the greatest benefit? What about you, Ayo? Have you had me? Any? I've got mixed race children. So explain to us how has it been for you? Because you didn't get we didn't get that side from from from. Oh, for me, from a black man. Being with I was with a Turk. Kish. Lady. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, oh my Turkish Arkadeshis, yeah. Merhaba Nasasin, we'll say hello to all of you. Sorry, I spread the country, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said just a singular, but I had to elaborate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I was with a Turkish lady. I have two boys, um, mixed race, um, yeah. teenage boys. Yeah. Um, what do you want to know? How was it? How, it's, it's, it's what was it like? What was it like? like so Hard. I'm ask you now. Hard. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hard, Why? really hard. Why? It was hard because the family didn't want to accept me. Okay. My family didn't really want to accept her. Yeah, yeah. Um, that caused a rift because when we had children, up to today, I think I've been in the family house once. Mm. So that causes a problem between the two, between between just like just just makes made me feel a certain kind of way. And what was the what was the reasons why they? Because I'm black. Out? Okay, and was because I'm black, and I I would fall into the stereotypes of being black. Um, I would, I would leave her, I would do this. I was just, every every negative connotation of being black you could think of was thrown at me. You. And it's, yeah. it was, wasn't just thrown at me from one person, it was thrown at me from the brothers, the sisters, the mother, the father. And I was even hearing things secondary, yeah. like well, about how shit I bred, was. Born and bred living in Turkey. No, the, the parents were, but their dads were born and bred here. See what I mean? And it was just, it was a really horrible, horrible yeah. experience. And I had to choose between, um, Letting my my own emotions and um, my children's benefit, my my children's future, yeah, yeah, yeah. in a sense where, at the very beginning, because I had so much control over, I'm not with her no more, or whatever. I still see my kids, fantastic, yeah, Turkish, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's um, quite dark for Turkish as well. She's uh, she's quite dark for Turkish. She looks she looks almost Indian or black, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, <clears throat> um, <laughs> let's not talk, take the whole band aid band aid off. Um, <laughs> What was I going to say now? Um, I had to choose at the beginning because, like, well, I talked about leaving the house and get. We wasn't married, but being with someone or whatever. Yeah. Like she was with a white dude before me, took the piss out of her. wasn't nice. She now was black dude. She, she, I think she had her own kind of thing. Like I could have been a, a semi trophy as well. Yeah. It is what it is. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But she's beautiful. Like she's an amazing person when we first like going out. So anyway, um, so I had a choice whether or not to. Um, not let my children go to their house. Yeah. Because when we're supposed to give her, she's all, she's into me. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I had to make the decision that I would not create that barrier between the children and their Turkish side of their family um, based upon how I feel or based upon how they're treating me mm. and based upon how they're on their stereotypical stuff because I think it's very important that the children knew, know, everyone needs to both, know this stuff. Sides. Yeah. And if you've got a problem with me as much as it hurt, mate, it's been a lot. Yeah. I've just said, I've, I've risen above it and just said, okay, kids, you go. Okay. Even the, 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 her, the my kid's mum said, oh, they've said this about you, they said that about you, I don't want to send the kids there. No, 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 no. That's, that's their opinion about me. Fine. They don't like me. Fine. They're ignorant. Fine. It doesn't stop them from being the grandparents to my children. Yeah. And they need to have, still have the relationship with them, my children. If they've done anything, anything towards my children, mm. nah, yeah. mate. Well, did, did not you at not, all. Did you not think like you had to be careful in case they weren't fed the negativity? No, mm. they have to be, like, the way I see things, if stuff like that's out there, yeah. they have to see it and open their own eyes. My children are now 16 and 13. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. They, 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 Turkish side of the family are still fucking racist. Yeah. They still do silly fucking things. Mm. But, but, do you know what I mean? But, but are, they, are they aware to that? My children are totally aware of it now and they're totally aware of the 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 regality of me. The way yeah. I've risen up and said, okay, that's, no, go that's for cra- that. That's crazy because like, if you was a young Turkish boy coming up right now, you would, uh, the black culture would be one of the cultures that you're following the most. But, as but, we can see, you know, like yeah. I'm saying, the young. Yeah, yeah. but they, they follow it, but, but behind closed doors, yeah. it's 
you, they will follow it. They wear the clothes. It's still, it's still, it's still it's frowned no, upon. You know, like, yeah, they wear the trainers yeah. home. Right, man. They yeah. never bring a black person home. No fucking way. The way like, I've heard it even up till today. I do you know, know, do you know what the only thing is, because like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe you. They have, they'll, have to, they'll have to hide mm. and have that relationship. That's how bad it is. They would hide to have that relationship, even if then they could. There's a lot of Turkish people, a lot of different races want to have the relationships. Yeah. But because of their parents, like we said before, are still living in whatever era. But you know that it's not so accepted for you to be like that anymore. What do you mean? You know, but they don't care. No, hear me out. You know what I'm saying? There was a time where you could be that way, and it mm. wouldn't. No one would question you on it. It wouldn't even be questioned too much. Yeah. But sometimes, like within the last, again, I'll, I'll just say the last 10, 15 years. Yeah. They've been drawing out them people, you know the people that's on that kind of do that shit. No, nah, they want everyone's opinion because everyone they've all these campaigns and that, is, and it's not really to, for what people think that they're for. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. they're, they're kind of there for the opposite reason, but to divide even more. You, you know what I mean? Your, but you're a dad, yeah? yeah. You're a dad now, right? Yeah. You're my dad. Yeah. I love you. So whatever your opinions are, forget about everyone else trying to draw you out. I've got to come back to the house and I love you. So even if I don't agree with you. I still got like I no, but I'm, away from you, I go to school and places like that. Yeah, let's say for instance, as a, as I say, say someone's a, I'm a son, I'm a mixed mm. race guy. Yeah. yeah, and I've got two sides. Yeah, I go to school, I go to society, and I see how they look at racism, and they look at anyone that says anything that is even discriminate discriminatory in any way. I see how they're treated. But so I, I they did they listen. My so youngest son, you, you still like, is still put in a corner. That's the thing I'm saying. Like we said. The reason why people have to even at least profile different, they'll, they'll always bring things to make the, to, to heat up the racial conversations. But the fact that we've grown up with each other is something that never happened before. Like the, the, people, that's, the people that's in their 30s, 40s, 50s, yeah? We actually grew up, like even the 60s, because our parents, some, some of it, but even us more so. So us in, in our 30s, 40s, like if fifth, like say thirties and forties, yeah, mm. we actually grew up together. We went primary school together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you yeah. know, like a um, lot of before before us, lot. I don't think there was many people that did that across the world. So like, even yeah. we're 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 a, a unique kind <coughs> of we're at a very unique our generation. Yeah, is, our generation's mad. a very unique. Should I say human being because of how much Homo sapien? No, no. If you want, whatever you want to say, but we're just because of how much. A mixing that we've grown with, like we've grown with people from so many different cultures. I, think, I feel that, like we're we're one of the first, maybe this this world has ever seen of the type of people that is, we are. Is that yeah. when you say that, you talk about London. No, you I'm talking like, I'm t- all over because not only not only that, you got to think about it, yeah. TV <coughs> and things like that. So you may not have grown up with someone right next to you, yeah, but mm. TV makes you feel like you know people to a certain degree as well. So you get to see that Look, culture, this like, culture. This is, it's, it's but up, I'm saying, but like you said, that gives you a bit of that. But imagine actually like us, it, living and growing every day with having friends from when you was, a t- from when you, from as early as you known, yeah. my friends were white, my friends was Asian, my friends Everything. Was, er, every I celebrated si- Diwali, Ramadan, yeah, VE v- v- Day. You know what I'm saying? I've celebrated everyone's yeah, 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 celebrate, yeah, yeah, yeah. celebratories. That, <laughs> that's Trinidad now. Yeah, that's a whole agenda. But it helps you, you like what he said. It, helps. it educates you. Yeah, yeah, it educates you. It does subconsciously, subconsciously, and, and it, it makes you a it. different kind of person. Hundred you... yeah. percent. Well, that's it. Like you're able to go out and have a conversation with somebody and actually be like, hey, you know what? Bam, bam, bam. You know, and you understand, like, right, cool. understand stuff. exactly. Yeah. Understand. If a green man came in this walked into in, walked in this room <coughs> now, yeah, fully <coughs> green, yeah. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> You'd run out the door. There you go. The, the race is never ready. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, or, or, I'm so bad. You know, like, so, but I'm saying different. That's <laughs> and that's how difference is dealt with, isn't it? Yeah. And that's I'm, I'd be intrigued, honestly. Yeah. But that's me. That's me as well. But I'm like, wow, you're blue. Like, you're green. <laughs> what happened? Like, uh, yeah. Cool, but yeah, weapons. Are you okay? First, no, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah no, no, don't ask that in London, man. That's the thing, that's a problem. <laughs> uh, you're right, you're okay. You're good, <laughs> you're okay. Yeah, I'm good. Are you, <laughs> I just, I just think like, um, 
just being exposed, like you said, being exposed to stuff, it, 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 it makes you better. But just being open mm. and trying your best not to be like non-judgmental, being comfortable within yourself yeah. is the biggest, is the biggest, is the strongest, um, oh, why don't I want to start with something today? Is the strongest attribute to have. Mm. Because if you don't know, if you don't have any problems with yourself and you can mm. then just take the person's face value, then it's fine. And you can, it's down to them to show you whatever they're showing yeah. you. Yeah. And that's the beauty of being a human. If you allow someone else to do that, then, each and every person, black, white, ginger, green, whatever, whatever, I'll give you the, the blank canvas, you paint on it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you're a good guy, you're a senior next Tuesday. It's very simple, do you know mm. what I mean? And it's just, that is how yeah. it should be. And that's with every culture. Like, but having your, what you're saying, being our generation, that gives us that power to do that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like what you're yeah. saying, that gives us the power to and do that. And then before that, is there was, like I can say to you, you got to remember, even propaganda is about 60 years old as well. 60, 70 years old, so like all that media propaganda, propaganda getting far enough so it can reach a wide enough reach for people can have a, the joint opinions. And it's constant. We should never have joint opinions. Nah. Do you and know what I'm saying? There should be facts and then we can have our opinions on some next summer. Make it, make, <laughs> derive your opinions from your own experiences. That's, That's right. That's About, it. On such important um, excuse me, such important topics yeah. do not have joint opinions. They can't, have, right. the, have the facts and that's it. Yeah. And live, live with the facts. You don't live, like, live with it or, Li- or whatever, just that's move it. on. That's it. Done. Or like, whatever. And the rest of it is, is based on individual experience. So, a lot, and sometimes it, with us, as, um, we try to share too much of the American experience over here. <sighs> That we uh, haven't gone through. That. This, yeah, no, I don't want to go through. Maybe I'm just oh, sorry, vomiting. Me, me and Chris were talking about this about if you ever go to America and go to Texas, especially like yeah. the deep to south, what? Texas. I've been there. Yeah, well, like so we've and the deep about, south and the deep south. I've been to both. Yeah, and it's like even if you've got a drop of melanin in you, drop yeah. of black in you, that's it. You're black. Yeah, in America, that's it. You're black. Yeah, yeah. if you're mixed race, I hey, always wondered about that. Yeah, why is it just dropped off? Like. It's it's easy. Obama it's, it's, is mixed race, uh, but we've had a black president. He's just so light. But but I, I guess it's just easy for them to just dis, 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 distinguish black and white. You know, even yourself, yeah, like because you know, like you might have a certain swagger to yourself. You might do your beard a certain <laughs> way, your hair, your hair a certain <laughs> way. <you>. Sometimes, I'm, <laughs> and you and you, your girlfriend. He's only just cut his hair, and his girlfriend's black. Yeah, I used to have you long know, hair. Right? Yeah, yeah, the ponytail, bro. See? I had a, I had like, a, 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 like, and I'll call them niffy boys from my age. Yeah, like, yeah niffy yeah. have curtains. You know, curtains. Oh, what's happening, mate? You're like, yeah. Sh- you know, like just even just maybe just because of your how you move, yeah, and you got black girlfriend. You know, like sometimes people try and force blackness on people. As well, have you, have you ever? I don't know if you've so got like, it before. So, so, so you see, like a, a level up of some guy, some white guy. Next thing, he's he's rocking like some baggy ripped jeans or something like Jordan. Do rag, do rag. I haven't done the do rag yet. I said I'll do it one day. Just, what? just, no, just mate. <laughs> What's your mix? And you must, you know, just and you were like, oh, no. I got um, what no. kind of mix are you asking for? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white on white mix. Yeah, white on white. <laughs> white on white on ginger. Yeah, Don't ginger, yeah. Yeah, I'm a white ginger mix. <coughs> my dad's from London, my mum's from six. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's a lot. true. It's, it's a mad. Lot. Going back to what you guys were saying, like, what's the one? Is it? I think your question was like, what's the one thing that I've gotten out of it? Because you are, you, we, we asked you, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seasoning. Actually, seasoned food. Oi, 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 are you done to chef? Yeah, no, oi, 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 oi. Dad can season food, he's cool, like, yeah. he's calm, calm, but actual seasoned food, like. Yeah. Some, See, differently seasoned. So in Trinidad, they've got green seasoning. I yeah. guess they've got it everywhere, but like, green seasoning is life. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Nice. And you're greedy Just, like me, so I have to taste this. I, don't, I, must, I must have tasted green seasoning. What's this green we, seasoning? we bought back, so like my um, family out there, they made a big, big bottle frozen and we bought it back. Yeah. Oh, liquid? It'll, it'll last us, yeah, it'll last us like a year. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, you don't need Nickel much. Piece, yeah. You don't need much <laughs> and it'll, it'll literally, like it's like a party in your mouth like when you take a bite. <laughs> it's mad. My mother-in-law, like she's a wicked cook. Yeah. She's wicked, like. Is she live in Trinity or she lives here? Is oh, yeah, yeah okay, so we live yeah. with her. Oh, okay. Ooh. We live with Can the you imagine that? He's living with a family. Tell On me, purpose. How is that? He's already living how in Trinidad. How, <laughs> <like that. laughs> <laughs> how, how, um, uh, who do you live with? So, um, it's a me, Crystal, mum, sister. Was Nan, she passed away, unfortunately. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah, um, not too long ago. So, um, but it was, yeah, it was, it was us, us five, down to us four. I'm the only male, which is only male, only white male, only white male. 
doesn't really matter you're a male. Yes, yeah. yeah. No, but but no, no, it's cool though. It doesn't really matter he's a male. It doesn't really matter he's white. <laughs> no, no, no. No, what I said. No, just there. What I said. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if he's white, whether he's a male. So I'll just say he's the only male. It doesn't matter if he's black or white, green or blue. No, he's, he's the only a, male in the house. No, he's a, that equals really like, if he's a male. No, that's what I said. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. He's a male. That's what no. I said. You yeah, heard what I said. He's a political correct. But he's the only piece of testosterone in the house. So the estrogen is surrounding him. That's what it doesn't matter black white or blue okay, you're, you're, you're fucked didn't you really not in a bad way but no. toilet seat's always down it's all right no it's good man <laughs> no it's good it's it was it's different though so, so from moving from my parents so like i was the last to move out mm-hmm. and then parents front back garden drive whatever space into london anywhere you go in london really um tight of space yeah you know we live in, a, in, a, in an apartment in a flat three bed apartment like we don't have front back garden so it was a weird kind of transition for me yeah exciting though as well because like of cool i'm in london i'm in north london i'm like two tops away from king's cross like yeah. being central in like 20 minutes in a, in a year. Married. wicked 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 huh married married are you married i'm married yeah yeah, yeah I mean, so, i'm just adding to your thing you're yeah, yeah. you out of here you're yeah, yeah. together but you're saying, together you're married yeah but i'm saying like when we first moved here amazing but the novelty does wear off <clears> yeah <throat> Um, most things that yeah. happen still. But, you, you but, country at heart um, I, lo- I love my space and I love peace yeah that's the one thing that I, that I pray for is just peace because we live on a main road so it's always busy you've got always buses actually physically shake our building wow. so you feel it there's always drunks out you can always hear people in the park yeah and then I work in you live on that Seven Sisters I live on Seven Sisters fuck me on the front facing yeah yeah yeah, yeah I know beautiful view yeah but it comes at a price. Yeah. And then I work in an environment where it's loud, musical day, people talking, weight smashing. Yeah. 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 People which, screaming. Which oh, oh, do you oh, work oh. in the oh. part one as well? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll work where I live. Yeah. I don't really get to escape it. Yeah. So that's another thing for moving to, to Trinidad. It's a peace factor. Do like, you think it's going to be the same like as a, what it feels like on a holiday? No, because I'll be working. Yeah, so we've had these conversations a lot. Like, you can't treat treat you like a holiday. Maybe for like for the first week or whatever, you kind of trying to adjust, enjoy it, see people, yeah. go out for dinner, go beach, whatever. But ultimately, we're there to to grow a life and a family. Yeah. And to be able to grow a family, we need to have <coughs> fun, money coming in. <coughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, like it it will feel again like I I don't wanna don't want it to feel like the novelty is gonna wear off, but I don't think it will. Um, <coughs> I mean, you, seeing the sunset, seeing the beach, God, remember, on your days off, being able to walk down to the beach, that's, that, that will never wear off, I don't think. No, it. no, but just the people <laughs> out there, like, yeah. people here, I met some wicked people like in London, like, such as yourself, like. Thank you. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> it's wicked, like, you can, you build so much, so, so many good relationships with people from, com, from different paths, from yeah. different walks of life, and it's wicked. But on the flip side of that, you meet people and they're just not interested. Like, I've said that London can be one of the loneliest places Definitely. you could ever be because you're surrounded by millions of people yet you know nobody. Yeah. And that completely messes your mind. Definitely. And unless you... mean the States? Yeah. But unless you actually go out and, like, socialise... Yeah. But if you don't have the self-esteem to do that, you're going to socialise with In anyone. Basel, then, is it like... <coughs> is it, is it kind of place that's got a town centre? Yeah, you got, got got going downtown... <laughs> Yeah, they know that. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Country people, that's why when I went up, all those go up north, we're going town. What's town? We live in London, town, man. The whole place is town, yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 They yeah. got, they got a town centre. All of them places got town centre. I mean, yeah. that town, town, town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Once so, you said it, and you said it, it's just brought back memories when I've been out of the country, like I've been up north and all that. Where you going? Everywhere's town here. You got like one or two nightclubs in it, but yeah, we live in the town. Everywhere's town. Yeah, Holloway town. You got. Camden Town, <laughs> <laughs> King's Cross Town. You know what? Yeah, you know I mean, Frisbee yeah. Park Town. Do you know what? There's, I think oh, we have to add to what we said earlier. There's something. There's such a thing as London privilege. I think there's London privilege. There is. Well, there's always something going on. Yeah, always. There's yeah. always. You can always yeah. find something. Yeah. Yeah. That comes at a price as well, though. Well, yeah. Well, for me, again, it's the peace. Yeah. I like all that I said. All I pray for is just some peace. Yeah, and yeah. I say that so me and Chris will like talk we, we have some mad talks like some wicked talks our best conversations come when the lights are off phones are down yeah. and you're just talking in the I dark didn't, I didn't know you Liam 
<laughs> oh wow <laughs> wow <laughs> wow <laughs> you didn't get that no okay crystal chris chris crystal oh sorry that's yeah, crystal. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you, are you and Mac having some conversation in the dark <laughs> <are you? laughs> i think that definitely is homo not no homo that is homo i feel, no, that, I feel <laughs> that we should come clean now chris <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> <laughs> Keep it on the so down true, low. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, crystal, crystal, yeah, crystal, 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 crystal. I love Start calling it stool, you know what I mean? Crystal, yeah. crystal, crystal. crystal. Um, but no, we have our best conversations when the phones are down and lights are off because there's nothing to, distra- to distract you. Yeah. And that's when like you start to really think and think deep. Um, we, we, we can't really do that. Because they can't see us. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I don't light up when the lights are off. Right? You, know that, right? you don't? <laughs> I mean, we can try it if you like. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Because I was slow to catch up on that one. Uh, I'm dead. Fine. Uh, but you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, right? I just put up for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of gone off track what we're talking about now. You didn't have good conversations, conversations in the dark. dark. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Prior, <coughs> kind of prior to that, peace, but you want peace? In the peace, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. So just, just praying for some peace, like, you, you can't really get that here, not really. Or like where we are anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's just constantly always something going on. There's always some background noise. And then when you're trying to kind of relax and enjoy your evening, there's that background noise. Yeah. So it's going to be enough to come, sorry. No, no, and, and that's, and that, I've come from in Basildon, where I grew up, <coughs> by eight o'clock, <coughs> like everything's shut down. Silence. That's yeah. it, you're chilling, you're chilling in your house. Bit of TV maybe, other than that, that's it, it's calm, quiet. So transitioning from Basildon to London, the novelty was there where it was like, I'm buzzing, I'm excited, let's go out, let's do this. And we did, we did that a lot. But as that starts to wear off, you start to think, I, I, I said to her that like, London's got an expiry date. You can only sorry? London. London has an expiry date. Okay. You can only be there so long. Mm. Unless you're born there and yeah. that's all you know. Or you're doing business. Or I think it's, London's one of the best places for business, I reckon. It is, it is. But yeah, I think, I, think yeah, yeah. I, can't, I don't know about the business. Well, I, I, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it's the land of opportunities, right? Yeah, I feel like you know, like, like, like said, America. The, the where, wherever the majority of people are, it will is is a is a place a that will be a good place for business. You can yeah. generate, yeah, yeah. Of I just feel like if your business <coughs> is, if, if your business is not really based around that, then you you could go out to the country from London and make yeah. a good business. You get know what I mean? I mean well, live, live with in... COVID now, like with the pandemic, there's so many remote jobs or hybrid working. It's called now. Yeah, where people just moved out of London because they can work from home. Yeah. So they're still generating a lot of business. Yeah, yeah, but because of but that, isn't it? Yeah, it's because true. Because of that, in a, in a five bedroom house. Yeah, I know, man, that's left garden. the country. But doing the same yeah, job in yeah. Portugal, bruv. Yeah. And, um, and and they're just raking it in. With a good internet connection. <laughs> yeah, better than here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But London, like you said. Sort it out, talk, talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? CT. <laughs> if, <you're born, laughs> if you're born here, like I was, and some mm. other people are, you've born in Essex, so like, I've lived in, outside the country before. Yeah. And it's like, after a period of time, it's just, you wanna, I just wanted to come back. Mm. Even though I was enjoying where I was, coming back was such a breath of fresh air for me. Because you've I've seen the other side. I've seen the other side, but I think it goes just down to what you know and what you're used to. Your comforts. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what I know, I know how to swim in this ocean. Yeah. I know how to maneuver in this ocean. I was in America, mm. uh, which is, any country poses problems and dangers, but there's a lot of danger and stuff, and there's stuff that you just can't, I couldn't identify yeah. with my eyes, and I could have been in a lot of fucking trouble in, yeah. in, in, with women, with work, with, with on the streets, whatever, just because of that. And if I want what you want, I reckon I could only, I could manifest it somewhere else, but mainly I could definitely get it here. As yeah. unpeaceful it is here, yeah. I know how to find the peace in this ocean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, that, that's I'm for me. So, like, I'm still so searching. I can find a piece in London. Ah, peaceful as a motherfucker in London. I mean, you know what it is again. again I, th- I think it comes down to aim because again, I realize even from through traveling, because I wanted to, I felt like that at one point, and I like I traveled to a few places, but I also realized that the expectations of people, yeah, are usually what changes in experience anyway. Mm. You get what I'm saying to you. So like, true. It, it, wherever you are, it's like you go somewhere and sometimes whether it's my expectations or the, the expectations of others is usually what cha- <coughs> changes the experience. Yeah. Mm. When you have an aim, like say for instance, if that is your aim, is like, 
it, you have a this you can still work to your aim. You know, working to your aim is sometimes more enjoyable than the, than actually getting to the aim. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 definitely. For, when you're working to the aim, you you always say you be always be back and forth, and you always be within the place that you want to do. But you're not, you've never finalized things. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And because only reason I I, I say that because anywhere you want to go in this world, I realize that you have to have excess money. Mm. Because if you can't <laughs> if you can't on the niceness of people, yeah. That's one thing that's gonna people, yeah. <laughs> if you count on people just being cool and being okay with you being wherever you are, you're the mercy. Well. You can't be the mercy. Really yeah, you, then you're at their mercy. You that's the only thing. Really so really. it's like, no. if I was ever gonna be where, I, I, I re- just because you're, just because we're English already, we have to make sure that we're in somewhere somewhere nice already. Yeah. For yeah. and then then we have to maintain somewhere nice. So it's it's almost like being here. So it's got it's like you gotta have a something some kind of money that's generated in in the same kind of way you would have had it generated back home yeah because well, to, to live the kind the lifestyle that you need to live so it's safe for you one and people Man. respect you know what i'm saying people yeah, yeah, respect yeah. you i want to leave i, wouldn't, I do want to leave though but i'm just let you finish your point yeah sorry. no i just realized that you have to be safe and you have to have some sort of level of respect and if you yes. can't come from another place and not have no job opportunities for the people that actually live there no mm. yeah, yeah you, 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 you got to bring something to the table you always have to bring something to the table, table you're effed, and like, more than more than like instantly Yes, it's, I want to go as well. Like, yeah. sometimes I'm in London, I don't mm. want to stay here. Yeah. Like, I don't want to stay here because of the weather and because of, like, the attitudes as well. Like, not because I want peace, I want I want fun, I want social, like, socialising, yeah. but on a different level. I'm an outwardly going person, as you know. I can socialise here in London, but the mixture, it's like, it's almost like licorice all sorts for me. So I can pick you out the bag, pick you out the bag, yeah. pick you out the bag. The next one I'll pick a fucking, what I don't want to eat. Do you know what I mean? Our yeah. passion, our creative passions to me are, are our best holidays. Where we don't actually see that sometimes we because uh, the holidays are more of an escape and they can mm. last uh, and even getting away from where we're from it can last, but where your where your loved ones are the majority of your loved ones will always be the best place for you you know what I mean It'll always be the place that you guys are saying you guys read my head, like it's, uh, he's talking as you're talking yeah in my head I'm thinking home is where the heart is yeah yeah so and you just said that so wherever yeah. your heart is that just picks up to me if your if your heart's there that's what you can make anywhere home yeah, yeah, yeah. someone happy, says like, what's, like, a, good, what's a good ones? holiday. And that, to me, a good holiday is not about where I am, it's the people I'm with. I'm with 100%, 100%. You know what I'm saying? So it's 100%. like, I don't, you can take me to... Imagine going by, like, by myself to some beautiful place. I just feel like, that's nice, but if I wasn't no. with someone to enjoy it or I didn't meet some people there yeah. that, that, helped, that helped me to enjoy the experience, just me. Some people like doing it by themselves. So, you know what I'm saying? But like, I always think that wherever your loved ones are <coughs> is paradise. So mm. how do I pattern... How do I change everything else around, whether it's my perspective and how I'm doing things? To live in that same paradise, knowing that because if someone offered you two hundred million mm. to, to to just um, to to live this lifestyle, I'll give you. Your, oh, you're not you're not allowed to speak to anyone you ever knew, your parents, your yeah, loved one. Yeah. Keep your money, your bomber. You, you see what I'm saying? You're, you're and then secluded, that's they're gonna they're gonna give you a new set of friends <coughs> uh-huh. and give you a new place to live, and you're gonna have two hundred million, and you're gonna be rich for the rest of your life. Keep your money, bro. Do you understand? So you realize that at that moment, you realize what's the what's, what's got real value. Mm. It's priceless, isn't it? Friends, your real, your real deep rooted friends and family, it's priceless. Priceless. Because that's 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 memories. That's those people shaped who you are. Shaped who Mm. you are. Without them, you they wouldn't be in your life, and you wouldn't be in theirs. You wouldn't be you. Mm. So there's nothing else that's more valuable than them. Nanny Betty, my mom, mom, your mom. Yeah, a a view, a view, a view. A view is nice, but even I've I've got bored on the beach. You know, like when you're on the beach, I don't, I ain't going to the beach tomorrow. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm like I've been to the beach two days in a row, and I'm not going to the beach. Let's find somewhere it's else to go. In. I want to go and see somewhere else. Like, <laughs> I want to go hike or something. Yeah, yeah, something yeah, else. yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had everything in America. Well, not everything. What people say, everything. A nice Escalade, Cadillac. Mm. Had um, a uh, big old house. See? You know, like, the way we had the way the yeah. house was so nice. Yeah. But I had money, eat what I want every yeah. day. Shrimp, lobster, steak, every, whatever I wanted. I was eating. I mean, gym all day. Never had to really do much work. I was acting out there, but it was empty, mate. Empty. It was empty. empty. There'd be some days I'd just be just going to the gym, coming home, and that would be my day. That's it. Done. That's it. I, sometimes I went to the gym three fucking times. Hmm. How you gonna go to the gym three times in twenty four hours? Yeah. That's how like empty I was. Just like, what you're saying is if yeah, you ain't yeah. got the, the you're thing to, you need. You're trying to fill a void. And you can't. Do you feel like they're going to give it, um, if they start trying to do these new laws and whatever, do you feel like they're going to situate like an off-grid place? What, what laws? Like there's going to be, a, there's already a bunch of new laws. So like as things go on, do you feel like they're going to 
you know, like set some sort of places for people to, all right, the the non vaccinated or whatever it is, and the vaccinated, and the, and then the people, you know, what I'm saying the different the different but sets of people giving them different places to live. Do you know? I think that um, all the highly densely populated areas are gonna get mush up standardly. Yeah. And then, but then you see you got the people with the dough, and you got the, to forget space like the bare grills and the because like you said, there's a lot of islands and places to go and live. Yeah. People will be buying their spaces. But those, the islands are controlled as well. Quite heavily. What do you mean? Well, like they're controlled by different governments. And no, stuff. but what, even if you buy it, as yeah, in like private islands. Yeah, like where are they? Where is no, there, there's loads. They even man-made they, private yeah, islands. Yeah, but you still have to buy it from someone's government. Yeah. There you go. You actually bought your point. I'm just saying. I think there'll be more of that. They'll be they'll be pushing. Like you got the question you asked. They'll be pushing to certain places. Yeah, whatever you reckon they're gonna they're gonna make certain places for these. Okay, this country is for people that don't want to do it. This country is for people that don't want to do it. I, I reckon they're gonna leave everyone where they are, and then just build up the other nice places. Everyone that's nice, they build up the right place. That's it'll, what I think. It'll come down to your passport. I think it I will. Think it'll it. be like if you're vaccinated, you can come in. If with your passport right, and you have to show like I don't think that's going to change or... though very quickly. I think by next year because will be gone or it will yeah, stick about. They're gonna it's gonna go, it's gonna go back to being called the flu, and they're gonna. So here's my thing, right? <laughs> so they've they've called it a vaccination. Some cake. You want you want cake in it? I'm not even a bit cake. Yeah. Uh, the yeah the. Yeah, I'm cutting it off. I'm taking that one home, mate. Okay, good. Um. Do you want to, do you want, guys, before you say about the vaccination, do you, want, do you want the blueberry or shall I take the blueberry? Should cut the blueberry in half? Sorry, do you want the blueberry or shall I take the blueberry? Should cut the blueberry in half? Cut it in half. Oh, sweet. Blueberry. That's, that's poppy seed, there. Eh? Lemon and poppy seed. Yeah, lemon and poppy seed, yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, sweet. Best one. Anyway, so like, um, what's the saying? <laughs> Frame me off my, my train of thought. Um, oh, but yeah, so but they, they call it a vaccination. However, you can still catch it after you've been vaccinated. That's the whole point of a vaccination is that you don't catch it. Yeah. Like when you have, when you're a baby, you have certain vaccinations. Yeah, vaccinations. MMR and all that stuff. It's no vaccination. It's a jab. Yeah. So people, even people like scientists and that, started, started to call it jabs. Yeah. Mate, boxing. But but we were jab. You just got jab. Hmm. But but it started out as get your vaccination. Get your, it's, it's scaremongering. Yeah. Get your vaccination and. That's it. Like you won't, you won't catch it. Leave it there for a second. So you, oh, you, you. Um, this is my bit, mate. I'm not. Uh-huh. Fe- I'm, if I want to feed you, I leave it there. Mid sentence, he's like, no, 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 just like that. Just don't touch it. What's happening? What's happening? What are you doing? White privilege, mate. Do you know what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of Churchill. Don't you? Oh no, no, no. God, finish what you yeah. say about the vaccination part. Um, <laughs> done it again. Done yeah. again. Literally, as soon as food puts in my, my face, like, oh. no, like so. It's all scaremongering. Like they, they, they label it as vaccination straight away because yeah. it's all about the money making and get the numbers up. Definitely. So people get it and that's it. And then over time, as data starts to be collected, it's coming up with more information, more information. Yeah. Vaccinations take, what, five to seven years to really exactly. be certified. certified. We did it in, what, nine to 12 months? If I die, Anything. if I die, I just want everyone to know that I took the vaccination with um, full confidence in the, in the in the government. And the law. I've had both jabs, and if my last podcast I deteriorate, I just want you to know that I trusted you, England, and the people that do it again. Don't anyone ever trust them again. <laughs> if I die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. No, no, you're right. No, you're right, man. There's but people, like, there's people that have problems in dying. That's a side of it. You know well, what I mean? Yeah. A friend, you know, a friend yeah. of mine, that she had her vaccinations, and then she developed asthma, like long from long COVID. I said, like, but how can you develop something from a vaccine? A side effect. So she's now on an asthma pump for the rest of her life. What? Sure, that's fucked. Because she's got damaged, damaged lungs. But I mean, we. It's we mad. But that's that's mm. through, That's from that's from uh, a uh, a company, which is not Pfizer. I got I took the Pfizer. Yeah, yeah. I got Pfizer. Yeah, I took the Pfizer. I, took, I, I work in a hospital, mm. and like I took it. Way, way before, well, it was hype, I never listened to hype. I don't even know what's going on in the news right now because yeah. I don't watch TV. Yeah. But I was in the hospital having a conversation. I already have asthma. It was the debate about the, what's the matter? The plane. Like the plane's it's falling. Plane. Oh. <laughs> it's trying to wreck our podcast. <laughs> anyway, um, so I took it way before and all the hype. I took it in January, mm. like, um, last year, well, this year, January, basically. So the first one, but for me, 
I heard the Pfizer one was there, and it was the there's a Zeneca one as well, whatever. That's Just true. the ambiguity. And because I was, I was like, Doctor, so what do you think? Doctor, what would you take? Doctor, what would you take? So I'm asking people what they're taking, do you understand? So that's why I took the Pfizer now. Still, people, people still had problems yeah. with the Pfizer now, but not as many as so my, the, the other ones that came out later on. What's crazy for me is that <coughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't even go to America with the Pfizer. What do you mean? Because yeah. America are not recognising certain jabs. Vaccines. Vaccines. Jabs. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Jabs. So then they're, they're, they're not recognising yeah. certain of them. So that's we, mad. That, and that's what's crazy. So we you telling me some people that have to travel and that they're going to be having to take into how many vaccines are they going to have to take? Well, this is the thing. It's not a vaccine. That's why it's a jab. Jab. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> how many, how many, how many jabs, jabs are they going to have to take? Well, that's the thing. Probably be one every year. And there was even talk but about if you're travelling though, and they say, but wait, but wait, someone's but not accepting. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Don't we? Even though they're, they're, it's clear what it is. We take jabs to go Caribbean and Africa all the time. Oh, I know, I know, but I'm saying they're not accepting well, certain jabs. Yeah. No, I, don't take I, don't, any, I, don't, I don't take any goat cheese. Because you're, you're ginger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you're white. I'm you. I didn't even need, need the vaccine. You know what I mean? Come on. Okay. Just pull out one of his head like no, monkey, mate. I, I, don't, I don't take no jabs to go to Caribbean. No. Africa, there is. You need to take my Yeah, Africa. Now. I mean, like, people, have, people, people have died. The Africans, because a lot of people that just said, yeah, look, I'm Africa, I'm Nigerian, I'm from Nigeria, I'll go, I don't know jab. Yeah. They've died. From yeah. malaria and stuff like they yeah, died. Yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. Born, but, but they're born here. They're born here, yeah. That's yeah. why. Yeah, no, I understand. But I'm just saying. Yeah. It was like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. come from my blood, my mum. But he's, they've had to take the jabs. So is this jab now going to be like that? Like when you, cause you're calling yeah. it a jab, is it going to be like that when you go to America? Like, okay, boom, well, you take the jabs to go there because of this because you're carrying something, not what you can maybe, contract there. Maybe, but like there was talk that they were going to mix it in with like the flu jab. Yeah. Mix it. Yeah. So when, so if you take the flu jab, then it'll be in it. It'll be in it. So you kind of take that as well. Just to cover you, because there's always going to be a different variant. Like we're on Delta now, right? So the Delta variant of COVID. So okay. it's bound to be the Echo I mean, one comes out. I don't know. So at some point, possibly, unless it unless it just completely eradicates overnight and that's it, it's gone. So yeah. Who knows? Do you I know feel I mean? like, again, it's, it turns out, because it's, I don't think it was that, like, again, sad to say, I just don't really think they were trying to, uh, the information is to save people. I think the va- the the jab was always going to be there anyway. In terms of there's always, always going to be upgraded jabs, mm. but again, it's just the the it's a business at the moment. Because you know, like when when you hear the, you can, people are selling vaccines on the on the, on the black market. So when you've got the underground people saying that, oh, you can get vaccines, you know, like, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. what the fuck? Well, you know, it, what are you chatting we, about? These things are usually given to people individually. So how is you, how is these, pe- these people on the underground able to access vaccines? Do you know what I'm saying? Because they're making it's, their own it's, concoctions it's a big, in their yeah, garage. Yeah, like science, scientists or whatever. But the fact that it's, it's, some, it's, it's being made means that there's a market for it. Do you know what I mean? So people are looking to take vaccines away from even doctors. That's what's crazy. It's all money making. Market for everything. The amount of fake shit they make these days. Are based on the propaganda. So, you know what I mean? There's going to be enough stuff sold off for this thing. Mm. You know what I mean? I'll let you finish a bit, Kate. I'm talking to you about the gym. Mm. We're going to wrap this up soon. I love you. I'm, like, I, I, I'm hungry as well. That cake's made me feel a bit hungry. That's right. Um, working in the gym. Yeah. Mm. Managing the gym. Managing the gym. Fun times. Yeah, yeah. What's what's, what's 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 your most favorite mem- me- me- oh, what's memory? M- memory. Yes, and uh, you can you can use me, but you don't have to use me. You can use me for another one, like example, because okay. I know you got some fun memories of me at the gym. You know? But no oh, homo as well. Pause. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you did it to yourself, man. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Great memories, I uh... <laughs> He left with a limp. <laughs> <laughs> you left with a limp. Oh, shit. The stereotype's not true. No. He was bigger than me. <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> and the hits just keep on yeah. coming. Yeah. Um, best memory... So I'd so I I teach a circuit class on a Friday, yes, and I probably max it out once at thirty two people. Wow! And it was thirty two different stations, workout stations in this studio. You know what the studio is like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the, what that's it by your office. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thirty two people. It was carnage, but like just the atmosphere. It was just it was going for it. Rocket, yeah, like yeah, it was yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. Probably like one of the best classes and best memories because like I feed off energy. Yeah. And okay. if people are having a good time. Yes, okay, they're suffering because obviously they're working out and it's hard. Uh, but it's just that, again, community environment of people. Yeah, yeah. You're bettering yourself. That's why I love the gym. Yeah. All, everyone's improving. Whatever what stage you're at, they're all improving. Well, that's, yeah. So like my main reason to kind of get into fitness was 
because you, people don't go into go to the gym to make themselves feel, to make themselves feel worse. They go there to better themselves. So you surround yourself with people that want to make themselves feel better. Mm. So you naturally feed off that energy. So that's kind of why I got into it. Um, again, like the whole mental health stuff like that as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I just want to be sexy. Yeah, I mean, I, I've tried and failed. Um, <laughs> I'm four years, so I'm still ginger. <coughs> You're all right, mate. You're ginger. True. Yeah, I'm gonna leave true. that alone now. Let's talk about. But go, on, no, go. On, sorry. Right. Um, yeah, but that is, it's good. Like I, I pri- prior to me qualifying as a as a PT, I I went to um, a gym back in in Essex, and you had to sign up for a minimum minimum of twelve months. So none of this thirty day rolling contract that you get mm. now. So I signed up and I probably went for, in the whole year, probably just a handful of times, like four mm-hmm. or five times. Mm. Cause I felt so self-conscious. I didn't know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I, like, I've grown up, I've grown up in sport. Football and athletics are my, my main two sports. Yeah. So I'm very sporty anyway. Yeah, yeah. But a gym environment is very different to kicking a ball or running on the track. Yeah. You're actually doing specific movements to work specific muscles. Yeah, of course. So I had no idea what I was doing. So I felt very self-conscious and I was quite overweight. So I kind of love to drink and eat. Yeah, as I know, know. As, you, as you know. As you but know. But yeah, let's cover this up because there's flies flying around there. No, you, like you eat, you eat, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah? For sure, mate. You sure? I'm p- positive. Thanks, Harry. You're welcome, mate. Um, so getting into, getting into fitness, for me, I wanted to help people enter into their fitness journey, mm-hmm. um, give them the help that I didn't get. Mm-hmm. when I was stepping into that gym because I didn't get help mm-hmm. I didn't. I wasn't directed or spoken to yeah. so for it's me it's scary as well it's, so, it's very intimidating it is like especially if you're female especially pardon me more so than if you're pardon male me, yeah. Yeah. sometimes with, with, with men it can be a little bit like you're trying to like kind of give off your ego or whatever so mm-hmm. like certain, certain people can really kind of shy away from coming to the gym because of that um, but for me I just want everyone to kind of come in and enjoy it mm. so like I got into PT to help people, specifically with mental health, because I feel like mental health is the best drug there is. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Jimmy's the There's best no drug there is. Sorry. Health, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could have gone into Freudian the slip. Way, Freudian slip. Um, yeah, work, fitness, the gym is like the best drug there is for, for, for mental health, for, mental health, yeah. for like your depression, anxiety. Yeah. For yeah. sure. <coughs> yeah. It saved me. It saved me massively. Yeah, definitely. Um, Changed me daily. Yeah, right. So. Yeah. I want P. That's why I got into to, to PT to really help those people. And then, from being in that environment for so long, it, my 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 view broadened to not only people with mental health, but just people just with confidence yeah, yeah, yeah. to kind of step in. So I stepped up into management. Yeah. In the same gym, it's a busy gym. It's like five and a half thousand people. Wow. And that's 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 I small. Think I'm the only one sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, we 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 actually went up to eight thousand members. Yeah, and that was carnage. That was mad. But I stepped up into management because like, everyone that kind of walked through the door, if you're new, I don't ca- I, to me it doesn't matter if you're black, white, educated, uneducated, male, female, what I don't care. Yeah, I want you to feel welcome. Of course. And I want you to just enjoy your experience. Mm-hmm. Your first impression can be your everlasting impression. Mate. Mm-hmm. So like if they're stepping into a gym and they're hearing people shouting, swearing or arguing or just people giving them like dead dead looks. Yeah. That's not nice. Not at all. For me, I'm just I'm I'm cool. I can yeah. happily have a conversation with you. I don't care. And as as the as the <laughs> as the face as the face of my gym, it's my job to make you feel welcome. Definitely. Yeah. And I don't do that because that's my job. I do that because I love people. Yeah. And I want people to enjoy enjoy yeah, it course. in that space. Definitely. Go. Um <laughs> you're laughing. So in, 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 in light of everything you just said, um oh, I've lost my bloody question now. It was it was it always revert everything back to me anyway. Mm. Like your first impression, impression of, of me in the gym. Like be one be brutally honest. Do like, you know I love you anyway, irrespective, I don't care. You can, you can beat this out, but you scared the shit out of me. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. In a in Okay. It's just because it's so loud. Okay. But I, I didn't know it. Like, I didn't know how to take yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it yeah. was that, woo, bah. And I was just like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? What did you let one out? <laughs> I was, many times. <laughs> Still today. Oh, man. But then, nice. okay, let's talk about the positive side then. No, not but, that was, not but, that was negative. But I was going to say that wasn't negative. It's not negative. Mm. But it's not negative at all. Like, I've just never met somebody with your energy or your, your, and your type of character. Mm. So for me, I was never put off 
Mm. It's not even a challenge. Yeah. It's just a case of, all right, that's you, that's cool. Let me just sit back, watch, process what you're like, and then let me kind of mirror some aspects of what you're about so then we can connect. Smart guy you are, aren't you? I try. That's why you're sitting across the table from me right now, aren't you? That's it. Yeah. That's it. It's, 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 it's the, the complexity. The com the, the complexity. Of your character and your knowledge and your outlook. Mm. That's why we're friends. That's what's drawing me to me because some people yeah. will get that. That loudness, and that's all they see. And they, oh, they do, oh, 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 oh. and they just that's it. Yeah. Like in the bank, the, zoom, the things come up. Mm. They don't have the conversation. We had the conversation. You can see, okay, okay, yeah, the, 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 yeah. And nice, yeah, and, and for sure, like there's so much energy, excuse me, that you have to expend that find that sometimes you are really loud. Mm. But it's not negative. Mm. It's no, it's not not negative mm. at all. Like you're there to make the environment fun. Some people might find that a little bit intimidating yeah. until they get to know you. Yeah. Until they actually have a conversation with you and yeah. find out who you are yeah. and what you're about. Mm. Like that. And it and it's kind of breaking that that um ice? assumption. Oh, or breaking the ice, yeah, yeah, off the assumption and judgment of actually who you are as a person. Mm. Um but yeah, it's good as you tell me. Yeah. Always bubbly and happy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean loads of people coming in in, 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 in Rowan's as well, like coming in like Oh, you're from the gym. You're from the gym. Because yeah. I'm that loud, and but I've, I feel like I'm accessible and I'm all right. I'm nice. I try yeah, to be no, as nice as I can be. Hundred percent. Try to like, be courteous to other people, human beings. You yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you'll meet you'll meet people who are ha complete opposite, no energy, and they are some of the most stubborn, rudest people you'll ever meet in your life in that gym. Mm. And you think you can actually come? You, you think you could actually approach them and have a conversation? And a conversation with you is the last thing on their mind. Whereas on the flip side, you you can come up to and you will talk to anyone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I talk to everyone. And you don't care. Ah oh, no, 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 no. Because it's 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 love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you're a human. I'm a human. Let's have a conversation. That's all we need. And that is all it. we need is love. Da 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 da. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> no, I'm serious. It makes me happy, like yourself. Mm. You said it makes when you um when you welcome people. Yeah. You, off the back of your first experience in the gym. Yeah. You want to revert that and make everyone else's first experience yeah, better. That's how I feel about certain things. Because mm. even as loud as I am, as big as I am, whatever, I still have inhibitions. I still have like setbacks or things that I've gone through in the past. Yeah, yeah. That I was, I was like, I've been, I've had the uh moment. Yeah, yeah. But I try and try to make sure other people around me don't have to go. Through that if I can help them, I fucking hate bullies. Yeah, 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 I hate bullies. But I'm just saying that's I just had to let that out. That's came right. around. But I try to make people feel comfortable within themselves and their life, and it's just so nice. It's it's, it's self gratifying as well at the same time. Yeah, you know what I mean, hundred percent. But man. it's so nice. Yeah, I want to hear about your worst experience in the gym, and because I'm considering I'm so nice, you won't be with me. But let's have a word. Was your worst experience in the gym? Um, so being a manager, I have to deal with everything. So from Broken machines to complaints to picking up toilet tissue on the floor to flushing toilets and plunging toilets. Flushing toilets? What do you mean flushing toilets? So like, because people don't like to flush the toilets in the gym sometimes. What do you mean? So they go to the toilet and they just leave it. Mm. Which one? Number one, number two? Both. <laughs> Both? How can you do... How can you... Yeah, I don't know. I you don't can, know. No, but if you don't, because you go... You don't flush the toilet. Yeah. And I've seen it many times, like people use a toilet and they don't even wash their hands. And I'm like, I'm not going to tell you to wash your hands because I'm not trying to baby you. But... It's nasty. It is nasty. Disgusting. That's another thing. That's yeah. the thing I find out about the gyms. Like, cause, like I say, been in the States and that, mm. all the gyms, as standard, have the sanitization for the machines. I'm talking like 10 years ago. I yeah, was we, never, we never had it at my, at my company. Constantly and only now because think people are sweating and doing all that shit. Yeah. And, oh. Um, yeah, we, we never had it um, because this is this is from what I was told. I don't, I don't know if it's true. I doubt it's true. But it's just because there'll be just too much paper left on the floor. So to, it would just look kind of messy. Which now, it's ha now, now we have it. I get it. Because it is like people li will literally get tissue. They'll spray their wipe and they'll just leave it on the floor or on the machine. And it is a, it's, it's quite frustrating <coughs> as a manager to walk around and, and find fully grown adults leaving being nasty, yeah, right. being nasty and littering practically practically littering in the gym. Like that's 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 it. Like if you if you want to really make draw it right back, you're, you're littering in a in a in a public space. Um, so I kind of got to deal with that. But going back to your question, like the nastiest thing, probably finding feces down a plug hole. Huh? Yeah. Feces, as in S H I T feces. In a, in a what plug hole? 
What? A sink. In a sink? Yeah, like, like, like push down, try to be pushed through the hole. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Yeah. So like, I went in. The gym? Did, yeah, and just, I went to do like checks and whatnot. Like we, we should have to, we have to do that uh, nasty, like, every couple man. of hours. Kind of pop my head in and they kind of, I look, <laughs> look back. And I'm like, nah. I look. I was looking, I'm staring. And then you can clearly see the person's tried to kind of push it down with their finger or something down the plug hole. I was like, oh, really? Like, like, like today? In which, 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 which sink? Because me, I go to the gym, I like to know, I'm not going to, which sink? Uh, in, the men's, in the men's change room or in the private bathroom? Private. No, no, not, yeah, not, yeah, not the male the or the female. One. Possibly. Nasty. Yeah, so, and I had to, I had to, I had to deal with that. Was the toilet available? The toilet's always available. So why would it, it wasn't broken or nothing? Hey, there's just some people in this world that um, just like to, to test me on the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like to test you? Yeah, to test me on wow. day to day. Wow, wow. Yeah. And it doesn't so that, matter? No, it doesn't matter. Hey, same <sighs> thing, found feces in the, in the, in the, in the shower. Um, there was one before I actually started there. Somebody decided to to smear it all over the toilet walls. Seriously. Which um, a friend of ours had to clean it. Clean it. Oh, I, I think he refused to clean it. He refused to clean it. Someone, someone had to clean like, it. The manager at the time had to clean it. Who? 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 <laughs> Wait a minute. So someone works there. You someone, said to, like, someone works there. Found it, and they were like, "Nah, that's not me." Went and told the managers, and the managers had to clean it off the walls. Wow. Yeah. And as a manager, if you say you, you could, you could, you couldn't refuse to clean it. Well, I guess officially we probably could, but then it's such a long-winded process to have to try and get it clean. cleaned by Maybe someone else. Do it yourself. It's nasty, man. So, if it, so I found a pool of sick in the studio. A pool. A pool of sick in the studio. Say it again. Pool. Pool. Why do you say pool like that? Pool. That's better. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Let me let me let me just let me just bring it back to being common. Um, it was in manager mode. Though. Sorry. Okay. That's I right. found <laughs> a pool. I did it. I did it. The hell at the end of that. That's all I found. A pool of sick. Thank you. I know, that's what the language I understand, buddy. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Um, From Essex, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what um, I mean? And I had to clean that up, and that was probably actually one of the most foul things I had to do. Nasty. That I was last year. I don't like sick. I mean, I can understand. I've been sick training. You yeah. push yourself so far, you come perpendicular, you uh, throw up. But actually, cleaning up sick. Cleaning up sick is not for me. Feces, <coughs> well, feces don't bother me that much. I'm honest. I'm going to crack on whatever. I actually don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I just, I'm just got a strong stomach for that. Sick. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm good. But yeah. I had to do it. Yeah, it's horrible. Because right? no one else is that the only gym you've worked in? Yeah. So I started out as a PT there <laughs> yeah. um, for 18 months. And then from there, I went up to, to management. I've been there ever since. But again, I was meant to leave last year. I meant to move to Trinidad. Yeah. So I was actually given the option to go to another gym to then become manager, like a actual gym manager. Not I'm, an, I'm technically PT and I'm, a, I'm an assistant manager. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. So I've got a guy above me. You're hey Ben. Ben, uh-huh. wicked guy. Uh, lovely, guy. lovely guy. Lovely guy, Ben. Yeah. Lovely guy. Um, I was meant to move to another gym and then work up to be gym manager there, but I passed it on to someone else. Cause I, I told them I was like, like I'm leaving. Who's that? Um, what's his face? D. Z- no, nah, Zach. Oh, the black one. No, it's Tory. The oh, who's white Zach? guy, bald guy. Oh, Zach. Zachy. Zach, I remember Zach. Zachy. Yeah. So he went. To, Tory uh, somewhere else. Only he's doing his own thing. Doing his own thing. Yeah, down south. Uh, PT still, but um, yeah. So I passed it on because I was leaving, <coughs> and then um, COVID happened. So I've kind of mm-hmm. just been stuck at the same gym, which is fine. Like it's good. You've been treated that before you night, mate. Yeah, I know. Tobago, Trin- 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 what is it again? Just Trinidad. Just Trin- <laughs> Do you feel like that? Trinidad works. I don't want to go too deep into that. That's cool. No, that's Effect, fine. No, and if we need to edit it out, don't worry, we'll edit it out. What's that? <laughs> I'm going to get edited. Where are you going with it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, your question might get edited out. Yeah. I thought you were talking yeah. about me, sorry. Nah, because pure gym, yeah, from what I've heard from people, like, it's almost like, I don't know, do people deal with pure gym quite badly? What? Like you know, like I, cause people I've, like I know what? someone that's worked in like Virgin and people that's worked in like different. You know, like oh, for, what's the other one? Uh, Lloyd, David Lloyd, David Lloyd, and different ones like that. Fitness first, yeah. The and the, thing, the things that they they've had to deal with in like what management or like PTs you know, it's or what? A more of a P, like PTs can travel right in it. They can go to they go to different gyms depending on who their clients are. 
Or? No, they, they can only stick to one gym. Oh, can they? I didn't know that. But mm. So all I know that, I know that they had different, so they worked in a few different ones. I didn't know how, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they were just like, when they worked in pure gym, they was like, they was, this, they, they was kind of shocked on how people treated the gym. Well, as, in, as in managers treated just the PTs? Like, <coughs> like, oh, excuse me. Like those PTs kind of, being treated uh, by members. Just people, how people dealt with the gym. More than anything, like, uh, like you say, you know the feces and all those different kinds of things. As in, like members coming in and treating yeah, the gym itself, treating how they dealt with the gym. Was... So, like a lot of people class pure gym as a budget gym, yeah. And I really don't like that saying. Yeah, I, I like, I use affordable. Yes, it's more. It's a more I don't think it's affordable. I think it costs too much. Yeah, but look at Fitness First. Look at David Lloyd. Yeah. Well, I don't. Do you know fitness, what? So fit, fitness, How much is it? I don't know. I don't look at them. Fitness First could be sixty quid a month. That, yeah, David Lloyd could be eighty nine. I used to work at David Lloyd. That's yeah. eighty ninety. Jim Box. Yeah, I work at another gym. Uh, well, yeah, but as a sales associate, not PT. Yeah, no, but you still fair. Nah, yeah. fair. Ah, fair. Ah, hurry, hurry. I guess. No, nah, I guess so. But it wasn't a gym. It was a club, like a club. club. So do you see what I'm saying? Slightly so different. it's like even Slightly how you how you're addressing it is different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess, I guess. Because it, it was, it was like David Lloyd was tennis, swimming, sauna. Yeah, but you pay I pay eighty nine pounds for that. Which are? In this in this current um climate. Maybe. Yes. If you've got facilities, because facilities, if you're training, if I can if I can go to because when I was in the States, I could go to the gym, mm. finish up, go for a swim. Steam and sauna. Yeah, I pay a couple of quid more for that, so I can yeah. incorporate swimming into my into my training. If I can incorporate something else in my training, I pay a couple of quid more. But it's basic. But but look at what we pay now. You're paying three times that now. Well, you, you you'd be paying three times that, wouldn't you, compared to what you pay now? Yeah. Right. But what I've got now, as much as I love it, yeah. it's only because I've established myself like physically. Yeah. I can use that stuff. I I would technically need more. But mm. Also, you're at the gym, Harry. So that makes it. You know what I mean? Cheers, but. Thanks. Yeah, I could, I could make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's there? Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's also accessibility. Yeah, I'm gonna join gym box, but then COVID hit. Well, yeah, loads, loads of members were gonna join gym box because they were doing the offer. Yeah, what and it was just around the corner. Yeah, well, I would have joined gym box and because I would have, I would have hit the bags and do all that. Yeah, before, of course. You know, like little fighting stuff as well. So I would have probably joined it because it had the the, the boxing element to it. No, no, no disrespect to, to pure gym. So I have access to all pure gyms before I go train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have that, bo- they that boxing element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but kind of going back to back to what Jay said, mm-hmm. like the the way that people <coughs> treat it because it's classed as a budget, they feel like they can treat it how they like. Yeah, I've seen it. And and yeah, I, I see it. I know people working. I, I, I see it daily, and and I see it blatantly in front of like. In, front of, in front of me it's horrible and people know that I'm a manager there and it's, and it's just like do I do I waste my energy on having a conversation with you only if you probably just go do it again anyway uh. or do I just you know what save save my energy and just and just tie up after you because I might as well be your mother Mm. <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> do you know what I mean like, it's, it's, do you think that's because because again it's the access that pure gym give them in terms of that do they give them so, 24 like, hours easy, yeah 24 hours is it easier to do bullshit yeah, of course I mean? it is of course it is because like I say like now now for existent, um, no, 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 existence no. I was there well like we got, I've got a PT who's who's finishing in the next half hour and then it would just be cameras after that it's just cameras so people come in cameras. and where it's 24 hours yeah like where it's in quite a, still quite a residential area it'll get used and people will come in in the morning, like my PTs and even me. And the gym's uh, it's, it's, a, it's a shit tip, a bomb yeah, tip. Yeah. You've got weights here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. And then we get smashed on feedback. We get smashed on on reviews from people going into dirty, grimy, untidy gym. Exactly. Yeah, but it's yeah. like we can only do so much in the day. Yeah. And at night. <coughs> to to keep <coughs> it to keep it nice and tidy yeah. and we do like we, we break our backs to try to try keep it clean I, I and keep it work apart. hard man and it's just, I, i've seen you working hard yeah and i i don't like to work hard i'll be honest i'd yeah. rather work smart yeah I've, I've had to work hard growing yeah, up yeah yeah, yeah. i say growing up money fair i'm money fair now yeah, yeah. but like but like i want to work smart now <laughs> yeah definitely and people are making that impossible do you know yeah. um I'm, I'm we're gonna wrap up man yeah, in yeah. a hot minute yeah. i want to i want to talk to you about when COVID hit, mm. the thefts. Best time of my life. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. The thefts. Mad. 
and catching people. No. How, how did that all go down? Couldn't catch people. We can't. You couldn't catch people. 24 well, we hours. You know, people just nicking weights. So many you know, ways. You go there, you can't find nothing to train with. But even, I'll be what? honest, I'll be honest. Even, you even now, but even now. So like, yeah, we had like one, what about one to 10 weights? Pretty much done, gone. 12s, 14s, gone. Um, the ones you could actually carry out yeah, easily. Yeah, 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 some, yeah, yeah. Even like, I'll be honest with you, some PTs who are no longer with us, they took them as well. Wow. Some, someone took my fucking kickboxing pad. Probably. I had a kick pad in the room, like a full, like a full body shit she holding. Which colour is it? Black. And? It's just black. Oh, no, don't know that. That's oh. gone. That's gone. Yeah, that's gone. See? Yeah. It might have read on it. It might be Reebok. I don't know. Uh, it, might, it might be a Reebok one. If there's a Reebok one in there, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you it is. <laughs> we'll have a look at that tomorrow, <laughs> mate. <laughs> He's got it at home. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, God. Um, no, yeah. like, yeah, loads. Loads got uh, sold. Is there on. really, has, that if there's nothing that ever happens to the people that take these things in. But you can't catch them. Like, yeah. thing is, like, we, so I get complaints from people. Oh, can you just watch, can you just find a person? This person left, left all their weights out. Or someone left all their weights out here. <laughs> Let's ban them. Ah, right, wicked. I, I, I would love to ban people. I'm honest. I'd love to yeah. ban people. Yeah. You prevent stuff, innit? But, but it, it would take me 15 minutes to locate that person's information. And if I've got to do that for like 10 people, it's wow. so a lot of time I'm, I've got to spend out on banning people. Yeah. Fine, yes, it might make a, a difference gym. short term. But you're always going to get people. Yeah. Because we have such a high churn of members. Of course. It's always going to happen. So then I ended up spending half my day <coughs> having to <coughs> ban people <coughs> rather than go out and actually be on the gym floor and, and actually communicate with people. Yeah. Encourage and, 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 and enhance their, their and experience. It's mad. Like it's a mad one. Like we had so much stuff taken. And then we got a lot of it um, replenished. We got loads, loads back. And it's slowly disappearing again. Oh. But, but, but it's so hard to track. People come in with their big bags and all they do is kind of sneak it They'll, they'll have their bag down by their side kind of working out and then boom come you caught a couple don't you I caught one guy um, literally cutting off a TRX kind of resistance trainer kind of yellow and black kind of uh, material yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally caught him cutting it off and taking it I was like I'm so confused because you can't even use it yeah. if you cut it off you can't use it like that's the whole point you've, you've cut, off, cut it away from the anchor point I was like so I, ban <laughs> I had to ban him I was like dickhead Confused, yeah. Was yeah. he black or what? Black guy. Okay. Um, he actually came back. He came back a month or so ago. And this was last year, about him. So I had to come and train again. Well, he tried to come and train. And I was like, you, you stole something. It was me who banned him. I was like, you stole something. You actually cut it off. He's like, oh no, 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 it was, it was almost, um, it was almost ripping. So I, 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 I <coughs> cut it off. I was like, <coughs> I was like, that makes no sense. What you're telling me. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. okay. <coughs> I was over a year it. ago. Like, get on with it. It's, it's, it doesn't really affect me. Yeah. If I'm honest, if I'm honest, it doesn't actually affect me. Like, yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, and it was like, oh yeah, sorry. Um, so yeah, I just cut it off. I was like, you, be, you put it in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you didn't, you, you didn't even leave it there or throw it in the bin. Yeah, you put it in your bag. Put it in your bag. Like, Thank come God. on, what are we doing? <laughs> so yeah man like, it's just, just a mad one um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah but with COVID itself I'll be honest I actually silver lining for me I actually kind of welcomed it if I'm honest sorry yeah. I'm welcomed yeah, it you got a, me too in the I, beginning in, yeah, the in the beginning, beginning. yeah all the way through for me if I'm honest I really enjoyed the, the, the rest the chilling out yeah I chilling. didn't I, I went uh, down the bottle I went, I went into the bottle like a lot of people did a few, pe a few people I know but did I got out of it though. I went into the bottle and into yeah. the belly like I ate I and drank wait. excessively no but excessively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got your money coming in. You ain't got to go to work. You know, like the thing that will stop me, I don't do it anymore. I've got control of that. That will never happen again, by the way, ever. Yeah, I don't think what? I know. You reckon? That furlough thing. No, nah, uh, come on. Uh, Sit, sitting at home all day on your ass getting paid. That's a dream. <laughs> Even 80%. I was like, yeah, wicked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did think, I did think, come on, Jim, just pay the 20%. Pay the extra 20, it. Sort me out. Do you know, but do you know, still, like, yeah. so calm. I'm it was. well happy with that. No travel, no lunch. No, no, so my wife, home, yeah. my, my wife was Sorry. working. Chris was working the whole time. Is it? So she was there, and I was just. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all day, wicked. Love it, yeah. Mister Harry Frampton. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Always, fantastic. Thank you. Give me some.
Love you. you Watch your brother. <laughs> cool, guys. Yeah, cool. Wicked. Thanks, yes. man. Push by the camera. Yes. That ends another episode of Life Talks with Bio Farrelly. Harry Frampton. Thank you. Push by the camera. And of yeah. course, me, Ayo Farrelly. Not forgetting the technical Mac. <laughs> <laughs>